Evening, Brad Kevin. It is a stormy Saturday night up here, and I decided I wanted to take it all the way back to the start when I first came on here to YouTube with Brad Kevin. And I want to do a little late night talk in tarot, although in this case, it's more late night fortune telling. I'm not working with any tarot tonight. We're going to work with the Kipper deck. I'm going to work with my trusty Shadow Light playing cards for a little cardomancy. And if we feel like we want to get any clarification on anything, uh, we'll do it on the fly and we'll probably pull from one of the oracles, okay? We'll see what calls in for us. This is going to be a timeless read. It's going to be for all signs. It's just a bite. So we're going to deliver these messages straight from the hip with lots of lift. We will be starting out with Libra since it is their soul return. And moving forward in order of the Zodiac, I know these are just brief little messages. We're going to get right to the point and we're going to look at what surprises are up ahead for you. So without further ado, let me set up the banners here so we know who we're working with. And we're bringing in Libra at 117 on the clock. Okay, Libra, what surprises are in store for Libra? Any placement? Okay, if you have a strong placement in the seventh house, or if you're in Aries rising, what surprises are up ahead of Libra? We're going to look at the good, the bad, and the ugly, whatever comes out. If something is not fortunate, then we will figure out a way around it, okay? That's what we do. We are can-do people around here. We look for solutions. We don't sit around feeling sorry for ourselves, okay? Libra, Libra. Ooh, there we go. All right, bottom of the deck. We got bad health on the bottom of the deck. This is a baseline energy here. Let's get some more details before we jump the gun, okay? I get the hint that if somebody has been dealing with bad health, there's about to be a fortunate turn in that situation, maybe an unexpected turn. Okay, this might have something to do with finding a different route uh, than maybe the traditional route, okay? Trying something a little outside of the box here in order to stabilize um, the condition here. It feels like it's something that's been long-standing. Uh, maybe you've even tried a lot of different approaches. You just haven't come across the right one yet. You need to think outside the box, okay? I just heard less is more, so there might be something to that. Um, you might be pushing yourself too hard or maybe taking um, too drastic of a measure to remedy a health condition. So let's see what this is about. Okay, <laughs> come on, Kipper, give it up. <laughs> there we go. Mm, this has something to do with a privileged lady, okay, that's crossing here. What's on the bottom of the deck here? Judication, okay, and marriage, all right? So there's something about maybe a, a relationship that's been challenged perhaps because somebody was dealing with some health issues. Now, certainly this could be a physical health issue, but it could also be that somebody's been struggling with a mental health issue like depression, or they've been going through some intense grieving process. This might put stress on a connection, right? There may have been times as well where um, you considered what was the next step in this relationship. You could have looked at possibly taking it to the next level at one point. There could have been another time when you thought of splitting apart if you were already hitched. I could see that. Uh, there's something coming in here that you're not expecting. It's a surprise, okay, cut of the deck here. Let's see what we got. Sudden wealth, okay? So look at that, seven, 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 eleven. 11. Lucky numbers coming in here. Uh, if you happen to be by a 7-Eleven, you might want to take your chance and play the lotto. I'm just saying, okay, look at this. We got high honor here. So I feel like you have been dealing with some situations in your life where, you know, it's really maybe affected your health. You may have been dealing with a lot of challenges, 
a lot of struggles. There could have also been somebody that was really struggling in terms of their health. But I feel like there's a turnaround happening here. And it really looks like it's not only in a relationship, but there's some turn of fortune here for you too. Now, some of you are the benefactor of a will or somebody is gifting you with something here. Um, this could even be signing a deal in terms of like some kind of business merger as well. I could see that. Whatever this is, it does involve some kind of legal process. Like there's a sign on the dotted line, whether you're signing a wedding license or if you are signing a deal here, okay? There does look like there's some coming together between two. And perhaps you've really been stressed out or your health has suffered. You may have even had health challenges that you needed to have looked at 555 on the clock, but you haven't been able to do it just because you didn't have the finances or you've been sort of like penny pinching. I can see that there's some unexpected wealth coming in here. And I think you're moving into a much more privileged position. Some of you, this is coming through a woman that is going to help you out with the privileged lady here or you'll receive some kind of news from this woman um, that is letting you know that uh, there's something that's been left behind for you here and I do feel there's legal process involved in it some of you um, are finally you know tying the knot for those of you that have been considering that in your relationship you're taking it to the next level uh, you finally feel like you have somebody who's in it with you. Uh, there's something here where there's a coming together that also brings a richness into one's life. I certainly see that financially. Um, it looks like you're being gifted something here, though. Somebody holds you in high honor. Maybe they want to honor you in this way, okay? Giving you some kind of recognition, giving you some kind of opportunity here. I don't think you're expecting it. And I certainly don't think you're expecting it from this particular quarter. That's how it's coming out. There's concern here, okay, with 33. That's the basis of the matter. We have bad health and concern is the basis of the matter in this situation. I certainly can see that as coming through as somebody's fallen ill and they're letting you know that they're, you know, wanting to leave something behind for you. I could hear that, but that's not really how it's coming through, I have to tell you. It's more like somebody has seen you sort of weather something with them through thick and thin, uh, through the rough times. Maybe you really supported somebody at a low point in their life, or you've shown a certain sense of loyalty, um, or there's something here where what you bring to the table is really being acknowledged. That's what I got, Libra. What you bring to the table is really being acknowledged here. And somebody wants to uh, show you how much they appreciate that by honoring you in some way. Whatever this is, I feel like it turns your health around. And when I think of health, I also think of the stresses. So I think something's been stressing you out for a long time. You've probably been stressed out. Uh, just with your finances. You may have been wondering, you know, how you were going to take care of certain matters. You may have had certain debts hanging over your head and you were wondering, how am I going to clear this out? I think you've had some concerns about how you were going to move forward here in some way. Um, I feel like whatever this is, there's somebody who's coming in and they want to offer you some support. They want to offer you some acknowledgement. And they may be bringing in a golden opportunity for you. And I do feel like where you've had a relationship that had a lot of challenges, I'm getting because somebody had a serious health issue. It could be they were going through a major doubt, a major doubt, okay, major, major doubts. I, I was going to say a major bout of depression, but maybe their doubts came from a place of depression or something that they hadn't fully grieved yet. And so that kind of kept them with one foot in, one foot out, you know, afraid to be all in in a situation. I see it could also be in a business capacity as well. You know, um, maybe somebody didn't really feel like you were serious about a direction you were investing in. Uh, they recognize that you've really been putting a lot of time, energy, investment in this. Uh, they really do respect what you're doing here. They see that you've 
uh, leveled up quite a bit in your life, just in terms of what you're focusing on, what you're calling into being here. And this person wants to support that. I, I just see you coming into some financial benefit here and it's going to alleviate a lot of your concerns. It's also going to take you to distant horizons here. So I do see you going somewhere. I do see you uh, taking a trip and right behind that, we got great fortune again. Okay. So this may feel like something to you that's way off in the distance too. Like maybe you just thought you're going to have to continue to just like tough it out. Um, and you didn't really see things turning around, but there's something coming in. It might surprise you. It's a lot sooner than you expect. It's going to help you out here. We're going to get clarification here. We got a five of clubs coming out in the light. So in some way here, you're, you're getting beyond any kind of competition. So if this is you obtaining some kind of coveted position or an opportunity to really showcase your work or have your work recognized in a way that returns to you materially as well, I feel like you're acing this out. This looks really good. I also feel like there's going to be some vying for your attention in this situation. Yes, and this could be from a special someone, okay? A special soulmate that's coming on your path here. It's coming up in the light. Uh, this is somebody who, you know, they feel like this connection is worth fighting for. So I'm kind of getting a dualistic message here. I do feel like you're getting beyond some challenging times, maybe some arguments and some rough patches with the particular connection here. You're getting on the same page. Um, this is going to take you places. There's longevity in this, but I also feel like it's opening up in such a way where there's sort of like this in tandem movement where it's not just what you've been building for yourself but another is also ready to meet you in that place. But they were kind of like held back. I feel like whoever this is, uh, they've been held back because they've been dealing with some kind of major health issue, depression, they were in a grieving process. Okay, let me do a cut of the deck and see what we got there. Do you have a shadow influence here? Okay, yeah, so I do feel like somebody here went through a really harsh, brutal ending. They may have even felt like everybody had like given up on them or turned their back on them with the 10 of spades and the shadow. This certainly could have been you, Libra. I mean, yeah, look at you here with the queen of spades and the shadow. I mean, I have to say that's your energy. You may have gotten to a point where you felt really bitter because you felt like you had so much coming at you. And you didn't know who you could trust. I don't know. It's possible that maybe you even have a lack of trust with this character here. You may have felt like they didn't give equally when you were last invested with this person with the eight of diamonds coming up in the shadow. You may have felt like this person wanted too much control or that it was just about what they could get out of the situation. Or maybe you feel like money was used for leverage to sort of have some kind of control or to manipulate a situation. And I think you did experience a huge amount of loss in this regard. And yeah, I think whatever this is, you felt somebody misused their power in this matter, but I do see there's a moving away from this challenge. I like this with the six of spades. I also feel like all those burdens you've been carrying around, they're about to be relieved for you. Yeah, 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 I get it. It's been a long time coming, okay? I know you've been putting in a lot of hard work here. It's felt very slow, but here's an opportunity that's finally arriving on the scene. There is some kind of opportunity to invest in a new future for yourself. And I do see alignment here with the theory of 11. It looks good. It's going to be up to you, though, if you can really put to bed uh, what went down in the past because the old cycle has ended here. If you continue to kind of hold that energy of what happened in the old cycle, you're going to sabotage the new one before it even gets a chance to get off the ground. So I do feel like, you know, your heart's been soured a bit here, right? I also feel like uh, you may hear some news that sort of gets you in this position where you immediately start to put up the barriers in this situation, but you got to look at this opportunity in a new way with the Ace of Diamonds. This is something very beneficial, and whoever's coming forward to you here, they definitely are being transparent. They got their heart on their sleeve, and they're ready to speak a certain truth to you, okay? 
I do feel like whoever this is that's reaching out to you, even though this person seems to hold you in high honor and uh, they want to maybe spoil you a bit or uh, show you some appreciation where you felt maybe you didn't get that before. So you might be a little suspect. You might be a little on guard. Something's turning around here. And I feel like you're about to have a big like level up in terms of anything you've been developing on a business level, financially, things look like they're clearing up and you're moving out of a difficult time. I think what's surprising is it's coming in a lot sooner than you expected and from the most unexpected quarter. That's what I got. All right, we're gonna move on to Scorpio, coming in at 15.44 for Scorpio. Let's see what surprises are up ahead for Scorpio. What surprises are up ahead for Scorpio? 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 What is this? Sudden wealth? <laughs> Now, Scorpio, I mean, with sudden wealth coming in there, I don't know why, but with you, I am picking up like this vibe of maybe you're going to play a game of chance. You might uh, be hitting the tables. You might be playing a slot machine. Maybe you're going on a trip. Maybe you're going to Vegas. Maybe you're going to Reno. Uh, maybe you're going to Atlanta. Okay, There could be many different places where you're going to uh, – Maybe hit the casino, uh, hedge your bets, see if you can come out a winner. I do feel like uh, there's some unexpected money coming in here for you, Scorpio. Let's get some more details about this to see how that's playing out for you. Okay, 777 also coming in as a lucky number for you. You could have some kind of connection with Libra there. Let's check this out and see what's coming in. You could have a strong Libra placement. They also had this kind of message come out. Okay, we have something coming out in reverse here. Main mail in reverse. Okay, so there might be a main mail that's sort of flipping on you here where you were expecting a new beginning with that one energy. One energy also makes me think the first house. So this certainly could be an Aries, okay? This energy coming in here. What do we got on the bottom of the deck here? We have unexpected income. Oh, what did I... I just heard payoff. <laughs> the big payoff. <laughs> Maybe somebody is paying you off. Maybe they owe you some money. There's a debt that needs to be paid. You weren't expecting to receive this money especially maybe because you've been having some distance from this individual or some arguments here. Uh, we got it again. We got sudden wealth. We got unexpected income and we have family room. So I do feel like you could be dealing with a family matter here. We got high honor as well. This is interesting. Okay. Family room, high honor. So this could be coming in through a family member right? Maybe it's sort of unexpected to you because you feel like you last left on bad terms. I could see this as being family money. That's what it looks like to me. I have a couple different scenarios here. This could be a situation where somebody owes you like some kind of child support. And, you know, I think it's been frustrating for you because whoever this character is, there's somebody that at one point you really held in high honor. But I think you've been waiting. You've been waiting to receive something that you were promised here. Um, for some of you, that's child support. For others of you, this could be in relation to some kind of family money or some kind of inheritance. And you could have had somebody in your family who's actually interfered with you being able to receive this. A main male uh, is where you would want to look in that regard. Uh, this is a family matter. I do feel like family money is connected to this, all right? Whatever this is, 
I do feel like something was supposed to be received by you. I think that it's what was decided upon. I feel like there was already a judgment about that, but you've been sitting, you've been waiting to receive this money. And, uh, you know, you've been dealing with a falling out with a particular male here. And I believe they are connected to the holdup in you receiving this, but it looks like it's turning around. So let me get a cut of the deck here and see what it says, Scorpio. I mean, what is going on here? We got marriage. All right. We got adjudication. Okay. This is really interesting. So this could actually be through some kind of settlement as far as like a divorce settlement. Okay. Maybe you're uh, deciding to split up. Maybe you've been battling it out in court. Maybe you've been trying to determine, you know, alimony. You've been trying to determine child support, things like this. Maybe you've been dealing with a lot of resistance around this as well with this particular main male that at one point you held in high honor. I feel that. Something's being worked out here where this is turning around, okay? Um, I do feel like you're going to get the money that you're due. So if you've been concerned about that, it looks like that holdup is going to be cleared up here. I also feel that maybe this is a situation with an ex and it's been creating some complication. This could be an ex too that's been holding up divorce proceedings and maybe you are really wanting to uh, you know, tie the knot with a new love here. Somebody really wants to have a future with you. You might be getting some resistance here and some pushback if you are in process of leaving uh, a marriage, okay? Somebody could be creating problems with this moving forward. You might be wondering why they're doing that. It's because they know you're coming together with somebody else. And so they're trying to kind of like, get you entangled with them. You know what I mean? It's another way to sort of have an energetic hold on somebody. But I do feel uh, for some of you, this is coming in as a, a member of your family has interfered with you receiving some kind of inheritance, some kind of money that was left for you, right? You may not even know about this. We do have seven of clubs in the shadow here, baseline energy. So I do feel that you're going to kind of be taking a stand for yourself when this comes through, when this news comes through. Maybe you receive some kind of word that there's another holdup at court. If you're trying to leave this ex, there's another holdup with, you know, coming to equitable terms around the assets. All right. I think that you are really going to take some strong measures in anything legal. I feel like you're going to get a different legal team on your side. Maybe you feel like more sort of more aggressive measures need to be taken in this situation. Aggressive just as far as more immediate, you know, being on the ball with it. Maybe you've been dealing with um, sort of late filing of stuff and, and things have been held up by a lot of bureaucratic nonsense, but it's because somebody hasn't been doing things efficiently. It could even be this main male that's been tying things up, okay, purposefully. So I do see this is something that you're going to address because you're learning about something here. Something's going to be revealed to you that's going to make you understand what the holdup has been or that some kind of money has been intercepted here. And you're going to figure out what the problem is. When you do that, then it's going to change the way you play this game, right? After you get this information, I do feel like this is coming in. Give me some more details for uh, Scorpio about this. Any further details? I don't think you're going to let somebody just, you know, uh, get away with this or take something from you that's rightfully yours. I do see you taking a stand for yourself. This may have even been a situation that was complicated by a third party arrangement. Okay. There could have been an outside interference in this, in this matter. Uh, this could be a family member that interfered. This could be, you know, another lover in the mix that complicated things. This could have been another business partner coming in. Um, this could be a situation where you were working with a family member working with a lover it made things more complicated okay it made things more complicated but i do feel like whatever this is you're taking a stand 
I think you just want this to be done. Okay. I don't see that you're really wanting to turn this energy around. I don't feel like you're going to be in this place like kumbaya, you know, we're all going to sing around the campfire together. I think you just want to be done with it so you can move forward because it looks like you got somebody new here and you may even see a future with this person or you may just be ready to like open yourself up to that. But there's this like, mess this complicated family drama this could even be like a friend group that feels like family you know there's some kind of complication here that's been holding things back but i feel like what's going to surprise you is what you need is about to turn around in this situation so i feel like whatever action you're taking here it does get you the money that you're due it finally brings resolution to whatever has been causing disruption within your family or within your friendship circle or in a business, you know, arrangement where you're working with multiple people here. And I do see you moving forward in a new direction. You're partnering with somebody here. I think for a lot of you, it has to do with somebody that you really do see like, you know, spending, spending your life with here. And somebody wants to invest in you, but you've been held back by some past stuff. I feel like that's turning around for you. Looks really good to me, Scorpio. So that's a positive surprise. So I'm sure it could be quite surprising if somebody who's been really difficult to deal with suddenly is like, okay, you know, I'll give you what you want. <laughs> Maybe it's been, you know, a real battle getting here, but it looks like it's just about to turn around for you and that you will indeed get what you want in this situation it looks like a money settlement as well as a fresh start in love okay sagittarius coming in at 2651 let's go ahead and bring in sagittarius with the kipper deck first and see what surprises are coming in for sagittarius what surprises are up ahead for sagittarius what surprises are up ahead for Sagittarius? What surprises are up ahead for Sagittarius? Let's see. What is going to take Sagittarius by surprise as they step into their future? What's coming up for them that will be most unexpected? Ooh, you got a pathway opening up for you. You got away out of the dark woods, Sagittarius. You've been trying to find the way through a situation that's had you a little bit tied up in knots for a while, just as far as trying to figure out how, how do I navigate this I got, okay? Maybe you've even felt like there was no way to move forward in this situation. There are butterflies here, so I do feel like this transformation is imminent for you. Those are monarchs. Monarchs do migrate in October. So I feel like there's something that does come in for you in this month. It's a new way forward. It's a new door of opportunity. It moves you through a really heavy time in your life to a time when things just suddenly just feel so much lighter, so much brighter. You feel your old optimism coming back. I think you've been trying to navigate something just psychologically you've been trying to figure something out you've been trying to integrate something uh, something's really been on your mind and i feel like suddenly you got clarity in this situation you know the way through and there's a transformation about to take place here okay so what is going to come in as a surprise for sagittarius as they move forward spirit what is going to come in as a surprise for Sagittarius as they move forward spirit what is coming in as a surprise for Sagittarius as they move forward oh you're definitely going somewhere you're going on a journey see I feel like you're really closing a chapter of your life and now you're opening up to a brand new direction it may involve something or someone at a distance I do see you going on a trip and there's some kind of new beginning that rises up out of this, as well as unexpected gifts, hidden gifts, things you can't anticipate now. I heard even fateful meetings. Now, some of you may even be traveling in a way you've never traveled before, an unconventional way. You may be traveling by train. Um, there's something here about moving forward. 
And I do got um, something about an important juncture, like a transfer point, something happening on a journey at a transfer point. It'll make sense when it goes down. You might meet up with somebody there that you don't expect to meet up with, almost like you bump into each other at transfer points. And this brings a huge transformation into your life and opens up a pathway you never expected. We got a main male here. Look at this and a new beginning that is presented with this energy. Ooh, that is curious. Okay, let's do a cut the deck and see what we got. Okay, we got coffin on this side here. And on the other side, we have toil and labor. So again, I do feel like you've been processing something and I feel like it's been heavy and I do feel it's something you've been trying to work out. It's weighed heavily on your mind for a long time. I think you haven't had any idea about how to bring something together. Your work may have been a real stress for you too. You may be getting some work opportunity. It's at a distance. It requires you to travel, okay? You may be exploring opportunities outside of your area. Maybe you feel it's really hard to make it where you're at and you need to sort of like expand your reach in some way. You meet somebody. It's like a faithful meeting. You meet somebody at a transfer point. That's what I got. You're not expecting to run into this person or to receive the opportunity that they're going to put in your lap. But whatever it is, look at this. Whatever it is, it brings an end to toil and labor for you, and it leads you to distant horizons. So I do see you pulling up anchor here and heading for a distant shore. So where you once felt like you were sort of like held in place, maybe because of your job, I see something is opening up here that allows you to sort of toss that aside and have a brand new view of what's possible in your future. Big travel indications coming in for you. Let's see what comes in here. I want to get some clarification on this for Sagittarius. What surprises are in store for Sagittarius? What surprises are in store for Sagittarius? What's, yeah, it really wants to stick that three of clubs. So I do feel like something's coming in when you don't expect it. I thought that it's at a transfer point. And when it goes down, that will make complete sense to you. I also am hearing now the transfer point can mean a few different things. Certainly it can be while you're traveling, you have to transfer. As you're transferring, you bump into somebody or the plane you transfer to or the train you transfer to um, puts you in alignment with somebody that you wouldn't have been put into alignment with had it not been for the transfer point. It could also be a transfer point where you're giving somebody something or somebody's given something to you, okay? I even saw like, you know, paint a toll as you go over a bridge. Interesting. Maybe this is about paying a certain toll to get over a bridge, a bridge over troubled water. Whatever this is, this person is relieving you of something that's really been like heavy, heavy on your mind, something you've been super stressed about. What do we got here? You've been dealing with some kind of loss with the five of diamonds here in the shadow. It's been rough, okay? I feel that. And this could have something to do with somebody that you were really close to leaving your life or cutting you off or you've just felt a lot of distance from this individual. I think you've been very stressed out about this. I think you've also been in the dark in regard to this with discover, learn, and play in reverse here. Okay, let's turn this around and see what comes in here. So, yeah, I think you feel like there's been some kind of ending in a connection. I think you don't understand why. You want some answers. There's something about a journey is going to open things up. I don't know. Do you run into this person when you're on a journey? Or do you get some word, some news that comes in that causes you to travel to see this person? Let's see what this is about. 
or they reach out to you. Okay, something's coming in here around this. It's like a fateful meeting. It happens at a transfer point. And a pathway opens up where there wasn't a pathway before. I do feel like something felt like it was a loss. You know, it wasn't going to work out. Yes, look at this. So we have hidden here with the ace of spades. And I do feel like there is something that's ending in your life. You may not realize that what's ending is for your best interest. It's actually your protection here. What I see is that you are coming into alignment with a lot of growth here, a lot of stability. So if you have felt like you didn't have that sense of stability, if you have felt like your finances have been challenged, if you dealt with something in a relationship that was difficult for you, maybe you even feel it affected your standing among a group of friends or your standing in your family or it challenged your reputation in some way. This is all recovery here. I see that things are really about to turn around, not only in how you feel about yourself, but how others view you as well. And I see a lot of positive momentum here in terms of your career. So if you've been just trying to work really hard, take on extra hours, do everything you can to try to prevent, you know, um, further loss in your life, because I do feel like you've been dealing with some kind of loss here, you've been dealing with some kind of stress, this is about to really turn around here. And, you know, I think you were dealing with a situation, okay, with the king of diamonds here and the seven of hearts in the shadow where you really felt like there was a lot of hidden elements in terms of your work contracts, your work agreements, your financial agreements. I also feel like you just really wanted to have some other options. Like, what am I going to do to be able to move forward here and get myself out of the hole? It looks like there's been some kind of stress here. And I think you might have really thrown yourself into your work as well because of some kind of separation it looks like you've been dealing with here. They really put you in a place where maybe you didn't want to feel what you were feeling. So instead, you're just like, I'm just going to throw myself into my work. I, I don't have time to focus on that. But it's sort of like, you know, you still were kind of up in your head. You may have just felt like, what more? What more is going to be, uh, you know, kind of compromised here? How am I going to be able to get through this tough time? I, again, there's some opportunity coming in here. It involves you going on a trip, and there's some transfer point. Uh, your opportunities are at a distance. I think that where you're at is kind of keeping you stuck. But there's something that's opening up here. I feel like it's coming in through an opportunity to get yourself on a better financial footing. And it unexpectedly puts you on a path where you bump into somebody that you're meant to connect with. When you connect with this person, whatever was troubling with you, uh, whatever was troubling you as far as what was coming to an end, you're going to realize that the ending was actually protecting you for this new beginning because you couldn't have anticipated how your life is about to change. There's some major twist of fate here, and it brings good fortune your way, okay? Because like I said, you've been moving away from something, but you feel a lot of bitterness about it. You felt a lot of grief about it. You've had a lot of stress around it, okay? There's been a sense of loss, and I do feel like you've been really trying to work through that. But this is so good because now there's help at hand, and there's something coming in here. There's somebody coming in here who is going to partner with you. There's a give and take here. So this isn't just about you working so hard and you being the only person trying to move something forward here. You got somebody who is going to equally invest with you here. And I do feel for a lot of you, this is coming in through some kind of work opportunity, business opportunity. It might be at a distance. It's a different line of work than you were expecting to get into. This might be an opportunity that comes in for you when you're on a trip, and this will be good for you. I think you will really benefit from this, and I do see a lot of financial growth from it as well. You go from an eight of diamonds to a 10 of diamonds, so this will really give you a lot of security for your future, 
if you wanted to buy a home, if that's something that you've really wanting to wanted to invest in, I do see that whatever this opportunity is, it will make it possible for you. And you'll be grateful for what you did have to walk away from that at one point was stressing you out, man. You're going to realize that everything happens for a reason and uh, you'll be grateful that things turned out the way they did. I think you'll be surprised uh, the way this all shakes out. It's, it's not what you expect, but that's what this is about. It's about the surprises. And I do feel like you will be happy that whatever that was came to an end because this is so much better. It's a brand new path for you. Everything's about to change, Sag. Okay, Capricorn coming in at 40.35. All right, Capricorn, let's see what are the surprises up ahead for Capricorn? What are the surprises up ahead for Capricorn spirit? What are the surprises up ahead for Capricorn spirit? Hope you're all doing well tonight. What are the surprises up ahead for Capricorns? Change. Okay. It looks like you got a chariot coming in. Old cycles coming to an end, and there is movement forward here. Everything's about to shift. I just heard it's about time. <laughs> you think a change will do you good. You're tired of the same old, same old. Okay, Capricorn, let's see. What is this? change that's coming in for Capricorn it looks like it surprises you okay whatever this changes it surprises you Ooh, you're gonna hear some word from an official person in regard to this 22 here this creates a new building block for your future what does this official person want to bring Capricorn's way great fortune what is this there's so many people getting this level up financially this is eight energy too. Official person. So this gives me the impression of maybe you're trying to go for another position. You're trying to get a promotion. Um, you put in your resume. You're hoping to secure a new job, uh, something that will pay you greater, uh, but will also be uh, maybe it looks like something you'd really like to be doing. With the official person here, I think you're getting good news around this. Look at this unexpected income. <laughs> okay, so you got some unexpected income coming in here. I think maybe you didn't think you were going to get this job opportunity. Perhaps you thought that there was just too much competition for it or that surely there were other people who had more experience than you in this field. I, I don't know. There's something about maybe you thought it was a long shot to go for this. You might be surprised. You're getting word that, yeah, you got it. It's a go. Or if you applied for some kind of business loan or something so you could get an idea of your own off the ground, you may have thought, oh, I don't think it's going to come through. I think you're getting an answer in the affirmative. Whatever this is, it allows you to have what you need to build a great fortune for yourself. And what is this? <laughs> oh, this is kind of funny. I mean, for some of you, this has something to do with some kind of, you know, settlement in either a business relationship or even, you know, applying for some kind of uh, settlement, you know, going through a legal process to get some kind of settlement, work comp settlement, something in relation to some work you did. Um, this could also have something to do with. A marriage you know that ended and you've been trying to get matters settled the finances are finally being ironed out some of you have been in the process of trying to recover from a time where either a marriage a romantic you know relationship a marriage went south and we can even see this as somebody that you were building with somebody that you were living with shacked up with your but it could also have to do with like a business went south, you know, uh, you were invested with a partner and y'all lost a lot here. But I feel like whatever this is, you're getting the news that um, something's turning around, you know, maybe you were kind of like looking back at the way things used to be and uh, wishing you could return to some stability you used to have. You might have been doubting yourself a little bit because you've been feeling how stressful things have been recently. Mm -hmm. 
I think what you're about to see, what's going to surprise you is whatever call you made back there to, you know, leave something behind, whether that's a, a romantic union or whether that's a, a business partnership. I feel like it is the right choice. I do see you putting in a resume for something, you know, applying for a position, an opportunity, some funding, some kind of grant or some kind of business loan. And you think it's a long shot and it pulls through. You're getting word that it's pulling through. I think, you know, you've you've done a lot to sort of like clean up your credit. You've done a lot to clear out debt. You've done a lot to sort of show up and represent yourself in such a way that it, it's, you know, making you uh, a sound investment. That's what I feel. I feel like your resume also speaks for yourself. So, you know, where you thought maybe you couldn't get this position, this opportunity, somebody thinks you're a perfect fit for this job. Okay, let me see if there's anything else for you coming in here. And then, I mean, others of you, you're finally, you're, you're done with the whole, you know, divorce proceedings or divvying up of contractual assets, you know, in a business partnership or something like that. You're glad to be done with it. You're on the other side of it. So if you're going through anything legally where you've been waiting to get the official word that the matter's settled and you get your money in your hand, this is coming through. Okay, so this is really good. Right, something is turning around here. One more shuffle, and then I'm going to cut the deck, and we'll pull out the Shadow Light playing cards to get any further details for Capricorn. Okay, Capricorn. Yeah, I think whatever this is, you're moving on up, okay? You could be working for a privileged lady here. This is maybe somebody who's a real strong businesswoman. You could be the real strong businesswoman here with privileged lady, but I do feel this is also like you're going higher in status here, or you're getting an opportunity from somebody who has access to certain rooms that you normally wouldn't have access to. And it's all because you sort of freed yourself from some binding agreement or some union that was holding you back in the past that you're able to take this opportunity, that you were even able to go for this opportunity. So where you have been like second guessing that, like, oh, should I have left that behind? I think when this comes in, you'll be so glad that you don't have this holding you back because you can just totally go for it. And it looks good, man. It's an up, it's an uptick in your status and it's unexpected income. I don't think you were expecting that this would go this way because you saw yourself on the struggle bus with poverty here. I think you've been dealing with some hardship, but no, you're not meant to struggle. You're meant to thrive. So this looks really good. Let's get some more details here for Capricorn. Any more details for Capricorn as far as what surprises are up ahead of them? Any more details for Capricorn about what surprises are up ahead for them? Any more details? For Capricorn about the surprises that are up ahead for them. Let's see what we got here. Ooh, okay. See, I like this. You know, yeah, you did have to leave something behind. Uh, at one point, you know, you may have questioned your your judgment. I think because you went through a lean time. That's what it looks like. It looks like you've been dealing with a little struggle bus. You know, sometimes if we make a choice and then. We find ourselves just dealing with hardship. We can ask ourselves, was that the right choice? I mean, I feel like I did what I was supposed to do, and yet I'm sitting here really going through a lot of hardship, you know, and especially if if you're feeling, you know, like the finances got really tight. You might have been wondering, well, you know, yeah, maybe, maybe the love kind of had gone south between us, but at least we had you know, a certain level of stability or comfort that I felt like has eluded me since we split up. And that could certainly even be like in a, in a business partnership. You know, you may have uh, been wondering, was it really wise to give up that support? I, I think you'll be glad that you did here, okay? But I do see that you could have felt like maybe you betrayed yourself by making that choice, right? I think it's been weighing heavily on you. But you're going to realize, no, 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 no. It was the right hand to play, okay? It's all been about divine timing with this situation, okay? 
you needed to have this tested a little bit though, okay? We always have things tested when we take a risk to invest in ourselves, especially when we're leaving something behind that we put a lot into. At first, it'll be a little challenging as we move forward. Success is not a straight ascent to the top, man. I mean, it's a zigzag journey. There's lots of ups and downs. And I feel like you've dealt with the downs, but now there's this um, unlikely opportunity coming your way. I don't think that you applied for this thinking you would really get it. I feel like it's something you applied for just because you thought, well, whatever, you know, may as well, may as well. Yeah, this is an end to you feeling this sense of lack with the 10 of spades coming up in the shadow to the five of diamonds in a life. This time of you really trying to figure out how you're going to make ends meet is coming to a close. And it's possible that you could have been dealing with a very difficult fire sign in this situation it was creating some problems and some blockages for you with the queen of clubs coming up in the shadow, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I also look at that Aries energy, and I feel like that has a lot to do with stepping into your north node, being able to transform the difficult stuff you went through, the fate into the stuff of destiny, but feeling like you've been kind of held back or you've been blocked or thwarted along the way. I think you've been pushing really hard. And as a result, you've been extremely burned out. And I think you've been frustrated, okay? But it's possible you could have been dealing with a fire sign who maybe pulled some shady stuff too. Somebody who betrayed you a bit. Maybe you used to be on the same page with this person. Then you're like, whoa, wait a minute. What happened back there, man? You did me wrong. I say that because we also have the seven of spades coming up in the shadow there. And behind that, we have the king of spades coming up in the light. That's Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, okay? So I do feel like this is something that is sort of being put to bed here. Whatever was sort of stealing your time, stealing your energy, putting out your fire, you were throwing a lot at it, but it was just wearing you out. And you felt like you were getting screwed. That's what I feel. It feels like you were really putting a lot into something and it wasn't going anywhere. Okay. And that's why you decided to sever yourself from this partnership. And instead you chose to invest in yourself, right? This was the right choice for you. This was the right choice for you. Okay. So I do feel like where you've been dealing with some difficulty there, something's coming in to kind of like calm those feelings of frustration. Something's about to pour into you. I also have this piece coming in. If your relationship ended and you always had questions and you were wondering about somebody's loyalty, there are indications here that there could have been a third party involved. There could have been, you know, a side piece involved here. Could have been somebody with strong fire sign placement. It is kind of like my mistress card. Also with the queen of clubs coming up in the shadow that can be... A little bit of that, you know, high priestess or magician in reverse energy as well. So this could be somebody who is sending some thwarting work your way. If that's the case, if it's somebody who is kind of like working against you, I do feel like at one point you were on friendly terms with this person. And then this person kind of turned on you, all right? Whatever this is, you're getting to the other side of it because what was hidden is being brought to a close. You're being put in the light in regard to a situation. And you can trust there's protection around this. Like this is blocked. This interference is blocked. These problems are blocked. I feel like you're about to get your fire back. And you're also about to get an opportunity that's going to really level you up here. So you'll be glad. Whatever was tossed aside, you don't need to question your judgment. It was the right call. And cut of the deck here. What do we got? Oh, yeah. Because, I mean, fire sign energy coming out in the shadow here. Again, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Yeah. I feel like whoever this character is, what they don't realize is there. there's a little bit of the piper ready to be paid hot on their tail there. So they might be trying to make a break for it, but not for long. All right. It's about to catch up with them. So there will be some divine justice rolling out in this situation too, where you felt frustrated about that, where you've been wondering, where is the balance? Doesn't feel fair. I've been dealing with all these challenges. Okay, you don't need to worry about it. You're about to see that there is a divine plan and you haven't been forgotten in this situation, Capricorn. 
All right, Aquarius at 54.44. What surprises are up ahead for Aquarius? <clears throat> Let me get a little sip of my Irish coffee here with some good old imported Irish whiskey. Mm. So good. I love a good Irish coffee. Hey, man. It's going to be my birthday soon, so I'm, I'm gearing up. <laughs> I always have to enjoy a little whiskey for my birthday. It's how I roll. I understand not everybody rolls like that. I understand some people are in recovery, but you know what? I'm not. And I don't, uh, I don't have any problem with enjoying a cocktail now and then. So I'm, uh, I'm enjoying myself tonight. I just had to bring that in because I know sometimes people have judgment around people having a, having a cocktail when they're doing readings. I'm sorry, but I don't think there's anything wrong with the little cards and cocktails. Okay. I used to have a group of friends that we used to like to sit around and we'd have GMTs and we'd uh, do readings for each other, you know, have a gin and tonic and sit around and foretell our futures. It was a lot of fun. Right? It's, a, it's kind of a broad thing to do, I have to say. <laughs> so for any of you who uh, have given up drinking, maybe that's coming in for an Aquarius here. Cheers. Black coffee for you. I'll drink one on your behalf. I know that that can be challenging to give up something that um, you've really enjoyed. I've had my own things I've had to give up in my life that I've really enjoyed. So maybe some of you Aquariuses are dealing with that. You might be dealing with having to give something up. You don't want to give it up. You really enjoy it. Why do I have to give it up, man? It ain't fair. It ain't right. Some of you may have gotten yourself into some trouble and you don't have a choice. You have to give it up. Damn. Fun while it lasted. Okay. Oh, yep. I mean, that could be the case with judication here, right? I mean, this might be the terms and the conditions of uh, what you need to do in order to keep yourself out of further trouble. I have to say, see it as a gift it is, even though it may not feel that way. That could be coming in for Leo rising as well, all right? With that, we had a card fly out. Yeah, I mean, this could have something to do with some kind of automobile incident, okay? Could be in relation to a DUI, could be in relation to uh, some kind of traffic stop. This is surprise, okay? So let me just say, first of all, because that is interesting, the way that was introduced. If you are somebody who drinks and drives, what are you thinking? Don't drink and drive. OK, because I feel like if you are somebody who routinely does that and you get away with that, not only is that really selfish, OK, because you're putting other people in danger. Right. That's not being responsible. If you do that, the surprise for you is you're going to get caught. You may have gotten away with it up to this point, but what's going to end up happening is there's going to be a checkpoint. There's going to be a sobriety checkpoint or you're going to get pulled over and you're going to have to go through a sobriety test and you're going to be in some kind of legal trouble. And you may even be required to do something in regard to that. You could also be dealing with somebody who has this problem. Maybe this is somebody you're close to. Maybe they are getting in some kind of legal trouble. Uh, you might be trying to support them in some recovery process. Okay. I feel this coming in. I am picking up this vibe, though, drinking and driving, something about this. Oh, this could be a privileged lady. She just thinks she can get away with anything. I feel like where somebody thinks they're above the law in this situation, it's not going to work out. So, okay, be very careful of this, whether this is somebody you're dealing with, a family member, a lover, or whether this is you. I feel like where somebody's been able to get away with driving while intoxicated, that time is coming to an end. Somebody's going to get caught up here. There is a change coming. It may be just the change that's needed, though. Um, this could be a situation where there's been a little bit too much aiding, supporting, cowing, you know, uh, turning a blind eye to what really needs to be dealt with here. 
Okay, I do see that something is about to be addressed and there's going to be a change in the situation. Somebody is going to realize that they're subject to the same ramifications as anybody else. They're not above the law in this situation. All right. It's either you or it's somebody you're connected to. You'll know if you are the privileged lady or not. <laughs> You'll know, you know, uh, we all have to kind of call ourselves up and see these are surprises that are in store. So this hasn't happened yet. All right. It doesn't have to go down like that. If it's you, you have the ability to put this to an end before it becomes a problem. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Look at this. See journey with expectation in reverse. It's like. You're driving to get somewhere. You're expecting you're going to arrive there. No, nope, you're not because you're going to get picked up on the way home or somebody never makes it to you. You're like, where are they? They were supposed to be here forever ago. What's going on? They got in trouble. Okay. I feel like that's coming in here. And this could be a lover. Okay. It could be somebody that you're connected to, somebody you're involved with. It might actually be a saving grace for you because you've been trying to talk some sense into this person. You've been trying to get them to do something to uh, handle this issue, get the support they need. They haven't been willing to. Sometimes, you know, people have to hit bottom before that comes through. Yeah, you know, somebody's been really struggling here with some bad health, and it's in relation to addiction. And I do feel like with courthouse here, this is being court ordered, okay? Somebody is being required to go through some kind of recovery. So they can move out of this position of poverty, you know, there's something that feels empty within this person. And so they are using their vices to like numb that out and disassociate with it. And you've been wanting, you know, to try to help this person, but you have not been able to get through because you've been too soft, you know. You've been too soft on this individual and they need a little bit more tough love in this situation. And I feel like it's coming in through this person getting into some kind of trouble. Okay. Or you, you'll know if it's you. Okay. You'll know if it's you, if it's you, your lover's been on your butt about this. Your lover's been telling you like, Hey man, you know, you need to get it together. You know, you really do need to get it together. If somebody's pregnant, and drinking, I mean, there could be something coming in around this as well, okay? Just have to bring it in, have to bring it in. It could cause, it could cause a loss, a loss of the baby, okay? I mean, I don't like delivering news like this, but this one's coming in as real cautionary here, okay? Somebody's got some kind of issue, some kind of addiction, and they're about to get caught up for it. And they're about to get the help they need. So it's actually a good thing that I do feel like it's court ordered here. Okay. Don't drink and drive. Man. I don't drink and drive. I don't drive. <laughs> Keeps it safe. Okay. Yeah. So something's being brought to an end here with the ace of spades times up. With the archangels here, it is a little divine intervention. Maybe you've even been feeling this coming. You might have had a sense that somebody needed some protection around them because you've been worried about this. Yeah, I see this. I see you're in the light. So this could be somebody you've been dealing with here. You've been trying to talk some sense into them. You've been trying to get them to see the light. You've been trying to get them to do what they need to do to end this addictive pattern in their life, get the support they need. And now I feel like legally it's being required. Okay. Yep. It's time to pay the piper here. I do feel like there's something that goes down. That's a pretty heavy price to pay, but it's because it's what's needed to turn this around. It's a little divine intervention here, I have to say, right? So take your hands off of it. This could have something to do with the queen of hearts, water sign, energy, cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This could also be uh, somebody that, you know, you feel really close to. This could be somebody who's 
the mother of your child. This could be a mother, right? But I do feel like, you know, your heart's been on the line here. You've been trying to, you know, get this person to see some sense in this situation. Um, but they'll, they'll get through it, okay? I mean, what's coming in here is what they need for healing. So I do see them getting to the other side of it. But they got a little bit of a road ahead of them before they're out of that uh, territory, right? And um, maybe, you know, you can give them a little bit of a warning about not driving while intoxicated, at least as a starting point here. Um, because I am picking up something in relation to getting in some kind of accident or getting caught up at a checkpoint or something like that. I mean, and it's one thing to make choices for yourself, but as soon as you drink and you get behind the wheel, you're putting a whole bunch of other people at risk and they didn't even get a choice in the matter. So it ain't cool. And don't drink when you're, when you're pregnant either. Okay. Cause you're not giving your baby a choice in that either. And it's just abusive. All right. I have to bring it in. I have to bring it in. It is what it is, man. No pulling punches here. Okay. All right. Pisces at 105.52. Pisces, what surprises are up ahead for Pisces? 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 What unexpected developments are around the corner for Pisces spirit? All right, well, we got a journey, okay? You're going places. It's the ending of one cycle, the beginning of another. So let's see what is coming in here for Pisces. What is coming in here for Pisces? If you're going by a train, it reminds me of Janice Joplin. When she says, uh, she asks if you've ever traveled on a train, you know. When you're on a train, tomorrow never happens, man. It's always the same effing day, man. Maybe you feel like, when am I going to get there? <laughs> yeah, when am I going to get there? I feel like what's surprising you is that you're receiving a message, okay? And we got message of concern in reverse, which I like, okay? I feel like you're receiving a message from somebody. And before you even open it, it's like as soon as you see the name come up on your text or as soon as you see, you know, the person's address coming up in your email or as soon as you receive the mail, before you even open it, you have this like anxiety around it. You think it's going to be some kind of bad news. You're worried before you even have a chance to read it. And I think what you're learning here is there's nothing to be concerned about at all, which is good. Okay. This could be in relation to something balancing out spiritually, okay? This could be somebody's wanting to balance things out with you. Maybe you were expecting more pushback from this person. Maybe you thought this person was coming around to cause you more trouble. And actually, they want to try to smooth things over here. And that's kind of what's coming through. We got number 14 there, okay? That could be Sagittarius be dealing with a Sag in this situation. I think of that tempering energy too. I think of the Seagoat to be dealing with a Capricorn as well. This could be some kind of message as well that has something to do with a trip you're planning or it could have to do with, you know, dealing with an individual where you feel like something about your involvement with them cause some issues for you. Maybe you feel like they compromise your reputation in some way. This is what I got. Okay. You're worried about this. You're not sure how this is going to go down. All right. We got courthouse crossing this message of concern, right? In reverse. 
There's a mature woman connected to this here, right? And behind that family room, right? So this is a family matter. This is a family matter. Interesting. I'm almost picking it up the reverse now because we have thief here coming up right after that. And then pathway to occupation. Change. Interesting. Let me do a cut the deck here. This could have something to do with the mother. Who has suffered some kind of financial loss. Or an older woman who has suffered some kind of financial loss. I feel like this is somebody that is within your family. Or feels like family to you. This person's been dealing with some stresses in their life. They might have even had something stolen from them, I have to say. I don't know why I got this, but I got this case of like, you know, an online love affair, like somebody meeting somebody online. And this person's like a swindler. Somebody is super stressed out here. Interesting. But I do see great fortune on the other side. So you may already be aware that there's something going on here with an individual where they've been, I don't know why, but I got this piece like somebody's been dealing with a Casanova type here. And somebody took this person for a ride. They swindled them out of some money. This is somebody who runs a scam, man. I got online activity in relation to this. So I think when you're getting this message from this person, when you first see it come up, you might feel like some stress, some concern. But I think what you're going to find out is that some stress around this situation is being alleviated. Maybe this is somebody who's kind of like always reached out to you too for some kind of support or assistance. And you may feel like you don't have it to give right now at this time. But I do feel like there's been some kind of positive turn of events in this person's life. They might have had an opportunity open up for them career wise, where it's allowing them to sort of recover some of their losses financially, at least get themselves on a stable footing here. They might be kind of reaching out to you to say, thank you for offering the help, but I'm kind of balanced things out myself. Yeah, I don't know why I got this, but I feel like this is somebody who kind of like jumped into some kind of online love affair relationship. They were all in. They sort of threw caution to the wind, even though they didn't really know this person. It uprooted them. It caused them a lot of loss. They really suffered financially. This person could have stolen from them. You, they may have even, you know, gotten married to this person. They may have eloped with this person. They may have taken some kind of action that sort of caused up a stir in the family too. That seemed reckless, okay? Yeah, but something is helping out here, okay? There's some kind of blessing coming through here that will restore whatever was lost. I feel like it's coming through as a gift. I feel like the gift is a new is a new job, okay? So this person has been really struggling financially, and they've been having a hard time trying to figure it out. Whoever this person is, they've been leaning heavily on you. They may have even been needing some money from you or some kind of tangible assistance. You may have been helping this person out through a legal process as well, or you were somehow roped into this. So I think when you get the news initially, you, you're sort of like bracing yourself for more, but it's actually good news. And I do feel like this person is thanking you and letting you know, it's okay. It's cool. I got it worked out. I ended up getting the job, you know, that this is a positive change for them. And if you were hoping that this person would actually take some kind of legal action against this individual, but they were sort of reticent to do that, I think they're taking your advice too. And they are standing up, you know, for themselves here. And they're bringing this to an end, some kind of mature man here, right? 
I don't know why, but this could be somebody older, you know? This could be somebody older. Maybe they've been single for a long time and they just, they really wanted to feel like they had some love in their life, you know? And so they took the risk. They got involved with somebody online, you know? They were all in. They may have even traveled to see this person and, uh, yeah, had an elopement or something. I just feel like there's been major loss here. But in, in some way, this is being turned around. I feel like because this person is getting some kind of work opportunity, they're starting to get stabilized here, and they are listening to you, okay? Maybe you thought that what you said just sort of fell on deaf ears. This person's listening to you. They're taking your advice, you know? They're cutting things off. In some cases, they're getting their marriage annulled. <laughs> they got married real quickly here. It could have even been somebody who was just trying to get hitched so they could get a visa, right? This energy coming in, let's see, let's get some more details here. All right, so whatever family situation has been going on here and it's been causing a lot of stress, I do feel like this is being rectified here. Something's balancing this out and you're being relieved of some kind of pressure, some kind of responsibility in this situation. So I think that's going to help you just like, whew, finally, you know, it's going to feel good to just like drop this and not have to worry about this anymore. So what is this surprise coming in for Pisces? I think you thought it was never going to end. It's going to, maybe it's even going to surprise you that this person took your advice. <laughs> You're like, that'll be the day that they actually listen to me and take my advice. Oh, I think they're listening to you, okay? It does turn out good here. Yeah, I mean, I think this person was just really stuck in their head, you know? I think, first of all, you have to look at whatever the situation is, the emotions are involved, definitely. And I think this was a very confusing situation for this individual. It looks like somebody really, you know, Somebody really played with this person's heart and with their mind. This is like some serious mental manipulation here. I think this person couldn't see a way out of their situation. They really couldn't. And I think they were lacking some kind of tangible resources. But I do feel like whoever they were involved with, they were like, they, they were like a thief. They swindled them out of this. You know, they swindled them out of this. And they thought that there was some like beautiful, you know, fulfillment here. They, they may have put on the rose colored glasses. This may have been a little fantasizing of outcomes here. They had a certain idea of how everything was going to turn out. But then it really went south with the queen of spades there in the shadow. And they went cold. You know, they may have just completely shut down and not even known how to deal with the situation here. Right? I feel like this person felt like they were just stuck. Like, how do I get out of this? It's like when the fairy tale turns into a nightmare, you know? And, yeah, I think this person felt incredibly blocked. You know, this is not what they were hoping for. Could have been dealing with an air sign energy in this situation. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This could be somebody... Uh, that made a decision to leave a relationship too. And at the same time, uh, really struggled with how do I leave? How do I move forward out of this situation? I do see that this person is successful in this, okay? They're overcoming a challenge here. It's getting to the other side of a difficult passage. If this is you and you were put in this position, I don't feel like that's it for most of you, Pisces, but it could be for some of you. If you felt like you were in this situation, like you were sort of stuck in a repetitive cycle, you got yourself in over your head in a romantic relationship with somebody who maybe played a lot of games, was a manipulator, maybe even drained you dry here. I feel like you're finally finding a way to get yourself out of this situation. And it may be because some kind of job open up, opens up for you that gives you the resources you need to go, okay? Yeah, because I feel like you've been in on your own for this with the six of diamonds coming up in the shadow. And this is what all the anxiety has been around. It's totally related to a love relationship gone south, man. But you're getting over this because you're learning something new here and it's putting you back in the game. And I feel like what's putting you back in the game is you recognize finally, like, 
there's been a break in this. Like there's some kind of tension that's being resolved here and there is a way through. And whoever this person is that's reaching out to you, they're letting you know that they figured something out, that they're taking your advice, that they uh, got a job. Thank you for offering the assistance, but I figured it out on my own. And I think that's going to feel real good to you too, I have to say. Okay, cut of the deck here. What do we got? Yeah, we got the seven of diamonds in the shadow to the nine of hearts in the shadow. I think that's the main thing that's been really frustrating for you is that you've just wanted to see somebody invest in themselves. Maybe you felt like they were too invested in making something a reality that was only taking from them. And you felt so frustrated. You wanted to empower this person. But in the end, there's something about whatever went down here. I feel like there was a falling out between the two of you. All right. It may have even divided up a home if you were living with this person, but where you both used to be in alignment with each other, uh, there was a bitter falling out here and somebody went real cold. I mean, there was just a complete cutoff energy in this situation, but it looks like there's, there's some love returning to this matter here. Okay. There's been a transformation here, <laughs> but I do think this is what you're expecting. When you initially get this news, you're expecting this person is going to bite your head off. Okay. Cause there's been blocks in this situation for a long, long time. And it's been a disappointment. But I think it's because you don't really understand all the details. You might have been making a lot of assumptions. Your assumptions are about to come to an end because you're going to understand why those endings needed to take place. It was for a certain level of self-protection, it looks like here, okay? And this is going to resolve a long-standing argument, conflict here. I do see that where you felt there was no way to move forward in a situation, no way to work things out. You were really at odds. I do feel like there was a lot of butting of heads here, no way to move something forward. Something is being balanced out there at the South Node with a little help from some divine intervention. And this is getting to the other side of a long, drawn out negative saga. This is drawing a line. Under the past, it's letting letting it be, man. Just let it be. As the Beatles said, that song coming in, let it be, all right? Maybe that is something that you can do to support you at this time instead of feeling like you have to take so much responsibility in this situation. Maybe it's even responsibility that's not really being asked of you, okay? So there's something here about... Just let it be. It looks like there's some kind of turnaround in store in this matter, Pisces. Aries at 122.40. Oh, let's go ahead. Let's get these out first. Let's get the kipper out first. <laughs> Come on, shovel in there. All right. Aries, what surprises are up ahead of Aries spirit? 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 Aries, looks like you're going to receive a gift. Okay, this is kind of cool. So an unexpected gift. Let's see how this arrives, okay? It is something that you can hold in your hands. This is not a spiritual gift. It's an actual gift, a material gift. Maybe even something that you have to unwrap here, okay? You could be receiving an unexpected present from someone, or you could be buying a special gift for another. So let's see what this is about. What is the surprise coming in for Aries? If you're buying a gift, I feel it's like you never you never thought you would do this. There's something about it that feels like, am I really doing this? Are we really going there? <laughs> Maybe it's a gift with a lot of meaning. Okay, let's see what's coming in here for Aries. What surprises are in store for Aries? I also feel like if you're the recipient of this gift, it has the same effect. You're like, wow, okay. 
We got concern, okay, around this gift with 33, concern. You might be trying to figure out what is the best way to express Ah, interesting. Concern thief. Message of concern. Is this is this somebody like stealing something from your doorstep? Are you supposed to be like receiving a package or something? You ordered something and somebody is ripping you off. They're like Stealing packages from your doorstep? What is this? That's kind of what it's reminding me of. You might be like receiving some message that a package was delivered and you're like, I didn't get it. What is this? If you aren't receiving something in the mail that you were supposed to receive, maybe even somebody said that they sent you something, like they sent you a gift or something and it hasn't come. It's because somebody swiped it. Somebody intercepted it. What is this? What is this? And, you know, I have to say that really sucks because it feels like there was a lot of thought put into this gift. There was something, you know, meaningful about this gift. What is the deal here? Any more details about this for Aries? That's not a good surprise. What's going on with this? What's going on with this gift for Aries? One more round and then I'm cutting the deck and we'll pull out the shadow light. Ooh, yeah, I think somebody stole something. We got imprisonment with courthouse here. So this is something you were supposed to receive. I got like a package here where something was supposed to be sent out to you. You're supposed to receive it, like either in the mail or it was a package that was supposed to be delivered. It's a gift. And you've been wondering, like, where is it? I was told it was going to arrive. It's not here. Somebody stole it. I feel like you're going to catch this person. You're going to figure out who stole it, and this person's going to get caught. This person's going to get caught. This could even be a couple that works together with marriage here. This could be a couple that kind of goes out and, and does this, you know, they case out places and they, they swipe packet. I mean, we are starting to head into the holiday season. This kind of stuff does come through at this time. Or you could even receive like a package and it, it doesn't contain what it's supposed to contain. Maybe it was even something you were gifting yourself and then you're trying to rectify the matter and, and you're getting nothing but pushback here. We got mature man on this side and then we have coffin on the other side, right? So I think whatever this is, and then we got main male, main female on the other side with sudden wealth. You see what I'm saying? There's a couple that's involved with this. These are like two scammers that work together. Okay, they like tag team effort here. And they stole some mail from you. They stole some kind of mail. They stole some kind of uh, gift that was for you. I mean, I have to bring it in with coffin and mature man. In some cases, this could even be somebody tried to steal an inheritance. Okay. Whoever interfered with something that was gifted to you, I got that. And certainly an inheritance could be gifted to you. It looks like it's a couple. It's a tag team effort. Whoever stole from you some gift you were supposed to receive, they're going to get caught. They are going to get caught here. They're not going to get away with this. Yep. And you are going to get the money to be compensated for what was taken from you. I see that, okay? Got unexpected income with message and then the path opens to you here, right? So this matter will be resolved. It looks like it's pretty stressful though. And it looks like there's a couple who's getting busted here for stealing from you. I got it coming through as a gift that's stolen from you. It's either something that was stolen through the mail, okay, or some package that was supposed to be delivered. 
that was intercepted or it could be around a gift that was left to you in someone's passing, you know, somebody left you an inheritance and somebody, a couple has been running some scam to get their hands on it and they're going to get caught up. They're going to get busted. So you're about to have a breakthrough in this and figure out what's been going on and have this matter turned around in your favor. Any more details about this for Aries spirit? Any more details about this for Aries spirit? What surprising experiences are ahead for Aries spirit? I could also see this too as, you know, um, something being stolen as well from your car. So make sure you're just pay attention to your security at this time. You know, make sure that uh, if you have to park somewhere, that you're parking somewhere that maybe, you know, feels like it's a little more brightly lit, you know, or is in a, is in a decent area or in a parking garage, you know, where they have security go around. I don't know. I just feel like this is your, your property, your property being interfered with here. Uh, somebody trying to trying to rip you off and get a come up on something that is meant for you, you know. Could have been a gift you bought for yourself. Could have been something that was gifted to you. Okay. Let's see what this is. I like that it'll be rectified. Yeah, I think it's been a huge disappointment, all right? It's been a huge disappointment here. And I have to say, for some of you, it could have even been somebody that you were romantically involved with here. Water sign energy, Cancer Pisces, Scorpio, in the shadow, somebody who, you know, is a little bit manipulative, all right? They know how to uh, work you, you know? They know how to work you emotionally. I think mean, whatever this is, as you're finding out what's happening here, um, you feel really disappointed in this person very disappointed yeah you're you're discovering this you weren't aware of this i think you're also learning that they were working with somebody else to you know cause this loss for you the this it feels like a tag team effort right and i do feel like you know you're kind of cutting off this connection and you're putting some strong defenses in place with this individual and you're protecting what's yours because you got somebody here who tried to work you and it wasn't just them. I think you're also finding out that some lover you were involved with, that they may have somebody else, you know, that they're connected to. And uh, something was taken from you that is not, not theirs to take. And has something to do with something that came in, either in the mail or a package that was to be delivered. Okay. Are you going to get some kind of word about this, that somebody's getting caught up? It looks like they're getting caught up. It looks like there's legal ramifications here. I mean, whoever this is, they're going to be held accountable. Could have a strong earth sign placement in their chart. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Right? I think that you might feel really, really frustrated when you find out about this because there's been a lot invested um, in this person and in heading in this direction. And it's going to cause a lot of anger when you discover this with the Ace of Clubs in the shadow there. Yep. You're going to really realize that you hear you thought you knew this person. You thought that you knew what they were all about. Oh, you've been in the dark, but you're not in the dark anymore. You're in the light. You now understand who was messing with your money. Who was trying to, take something that wasn't yours. And like I said, they're working with somebody else. It has the vibe of like a couple teaming up to steal something. That's that's the way it's coming out. Right. Let me do a cut of the deck here. I know there's like disappointment in this. You, this could even be like finding out a family member stole something from you. Yeah, there's definitely been interference here. You may have thought it was just the two of you. No, there's another player in this situation, but you're in the dark about it. You're not aware of this, but it will come to light. It will come to light. And I do feel like you are going to be really angry because you don't like nobody messing with your money. And understandably so. 
I also think you feel a little bit like a fool and that has you burn in a bit in this situation. Don't do that though, okay? Don't lose your cool in this situation because I see legally you have the upper hand and there will be a price to be paid. And with the queen of spades coming up in the light, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, this is a good sign with the two of clubs coming up in the light that you're going to have that pathway. There is a way through this difficult time. Uh, but I do feel like there's a little bit of divine justice rolling out here where you're not, you're not willing to just let that go. What was pulled here. I don't see that. And I do think that you are going to take action in this situation. And a lot of you may take legal action to rectify this. And I do feel like it's going to alleviate you of so much trauma. It's going to alleviate you of so many concerns here. And it will totally 100% work out in your favor. But for this third party, oh, it's going to be a rough ride, okay? Uh, they are getting caught up here. But it looks like you're transforming this matter with the King of Spades. Again, strong air sign energy in the light here. So I believe this is a transformation of the South Node. You're out of this karmic cycle. You're out of this conflict. Uh, the financial matters are being resolved. Uh, what was hidden there is being revealed. You're no longer in the dark about this. And it does look like there's successful legal action that's being taken here. And where at one point you felt totally blocked and you didn't know how to move something forward. All of a sudden, it's like everything opens up for you and you realize you have a lot more options than you thought you did. I do feel like this will work out in your favor. But when you realize who was taking advantage of you and the game they were playing, you're going to be pissed. That's how it's coming out. It could be a family member or it could be a lover. But if it's a lover, this lover is already in a committed relationship. You may be discovering that you were the one on the side and you were being worked by a couple. And they scam people. That's what they do. Right. I mean, it's rough, but it looks like it'll turn out in your favor and better to know than to just stay in a situation where you're getting worked like that. OK. Man, the energy. All right. Let's check this out for Taurus at 137.07. There's a lot of kind of volatile energy right now, especially since we just had that uh, Grand Cardinal cross that. That energy does kind of create a lot of gridlock in in just the flow of our lives. It presents challenges in moving forward. So I do think we got some stuff to sort through. We just emerged through that eclipse cycle with the nodes of destiny. So there's there's some stuff shaking out here before we get to the other side of that. All right, Taurus. What changes are coming in for Taurus? What unexpected developments are coming in for Taurus? What surprises are ahead for Taurus spirit? What is coming in for Taurus? What unexpected developments are coming in for Taurus? What surprises are in store for Taurus spirit? What's coming in for Taurus? I mean, how many people are getting this? Sudden wealth. Is everybody, <laughs> is everybody getting a level up here? Let's see what's up with this sudden wealth. This is the basis of the matter, okay? Has something to do with the desire to get, you know, some big money here. This is the basis of the matter for Taurus. Let's see what unexpected development is there around some big money here. This just flipped over. Has something to do with a privileged lady, okay? Perhaps somebody who has been uh, receiving um, some financial assistance, who has been receiving, you know, some financial support. This could be like sugar baby energy. Somebody's got a sugar daddy or a sugar mama. Could be a sugar mama in this situation. In some ways, somebody is being benefited by another person's financial assets in this situation. But that's about to change with despair here, okay? Crossing the privileged lady. Yeah, there's something that's about to change in this situation. 
It could even be that there's been uh, a privileged lady in this matter that has been causing some problems for you, some loss for you. And you've been trying to figure out how to navigate this situation. You feel like you don't have any way to sort of get through the current difficulties in relation to this privileged lady. Or maybe in relation to some privileges you feel like you're about to lose, you know. Maybe something is being threatened to be taken away from you. Let's see what's going on here for Taurus. What is this about? It has something to do with some kind of money. Some kind of financial resources that maybe somebody had access to, they're about to be taken away. We got a wealthy man in reverse here, okay? Maybe somebody just doesn't have it to give anymore. Because we have the privileged lady with the wealthy man in reverse, and he's crossed by despair, so. Somebody may have to learn to live in a new way. It could be that a wealthy man is suffering a big like financial loss and is not able to uh, offer this financial support like they normally are. This person could have recently lost their job. You know, yeah, they might have uh, gotten some kind of word that they were let go, right? And now they have to kind of like rebuild in a new direction here which means they can't keep, you know, giving this privileged lady money here. Let's see what's coming in around this. This is a big change, okay? It's very unexpected. Very unexpected loss for this wealthy man. So I don't know. I almost feel like this is a talk about, like, we need to put ourselves on a budget. Like, we can't be spending money like we used to. Uh, you you can't be, you know, going out on your shopping sprees anymore. We need to tighten things up a little bit. We got to prepare for lean times, you know. I got to look for work. And maybe uh, the line of work that this uh, wealthy man is in, there's not a lot of job opportunities at this time. This looks like this is a real talk about needing to sort of figure out how to handle things with more, more frugality, I got like there, there can't be all the spending. There's this is some discussion about spending, and it's something that affects the whole family with the family room crossing this. So it's almost like, all right, family meeting, <laughs> we need to get together, we need to talk about the changes that are happening here, and um, and what we need to do moving forward because I, I don't. I don't have the money, you know, to to give you these luxuries anymore. And somebody in this situation feels like, well, I should just have these things. You know what I mean? They're very privileged. And whoever this person is who's been able to, you know, give them what they desire up to this point, they're now at a point where they're like, I don't have it to give. So something's got to give here. Yeah, and I don't think that this privileged lady is going to appreciate hearing this. It's going to cause a lot of concern for them because I think they've been enjoying the current arrangement, but uh, it, it's not going to work. There's no way for this to work. Uh, there's going to be a need to sort of like step up to the plate and uh, pull their own weight. That's what I got. Okay, cut of the deck here. What do we got? Bad health on one side here and on the other side here we have thoughts okay so again i feel like this bad health is more in relation to just feeling like this stability is not in a good place there's been some kind of loss here now it could be because maybe somebody is dealing with some health challenges this may have cost them their job Maybe they just aren't able to work, and so they got laid off. Or maybe the company they work for hasn't been doing so well, you know? And there's a lot of layoffs going on. I think whatever this is, this person's trying to figure out, like, how do I tell them? And they may have been very stressed about this. This wealthy man is very stressed. It's been weighing heavily on them. I mean, I, I'm just feeling like a lot of stress and pressure around this. This person feels like it's a huge blow to their ego to have to admit, like, I'm sorry, but I can't give you all the things I've been giving you. Like, 
I need you to show up and be an equal partner in this with me. And that means you're going to have to like give up some things. You can't have all those nights out with the girls. Like, you know, we can't go out to all the she, she restaurants. Uh, you need to stop ordering so much shit from Amazon. <laughs> this is like a real life discussion that's going down here. And uh, this privileged lady is not digging this news. I see that. But it's it's something that is inevitable, right? So I feel like somebody is losing work. And it came as a huge surprise. It's a big blow. It's a blow to this person's ego. They pride themselves. And being able to, like, spoil this person or really, like, support this person or show up for them, I mean, I feel like they have a lot of love here for this person. Uh, they don't want to put them in this position, but they can't help it. So, you know, this is when you really learn what a relationship is all about. Is it just about what you can get or are you going to stick with me through the tough times too? I mean, I think a connection is being tested here. Do you really care about me or do you only care about what I can give you? That's kind of how it's coming through. Now, give me more details about this for Taurus Spirit. Give me more details about this for Taurus Spirit. Because, I mean, if somebody is only around and – and they're by your side when, you know, they're getting getting something out of it. But when the chips are down, uh, all of a sudden, you know, they, they abandon you or they turn their back on you or they don't have time for you. That, that's, that's something to question here, okay? There's a question of loyalty here. There's also a question of mutual investment and what somebody's true intentions are here. You know, somebody needs some clarity. Is there a little confused? They're a little confused about uh, what's going on in this dynamic. And they've been holding this in for a while. Right? They've really been up in their head trying to figure out how to open up this conversation. I do feel like the masculine in this situation is having a hard time with this. It's like they don't want to admit this. But I do see the communication opening up. There's going to be a conversation around this. Um, and there's going to be something that's hammered out here. I do see it. Okay. It may be rough going forward for a while, but you will find a way through here with the three of clubs crossing. Okay. It's not going to be easy. It's not going to be easy. And I do feel it is coming through like this with the Jack of hearts coming up in the shadow here that this person, this privileged person in this scenario, it would be somebody that's coming in as the feminine. So whoever is the one who's on the receiving end of these privileges as a result of the masculine status in this situation, I feel like this person is a little spoiled and I do feel like they're going to throw a temper tantrum at first. You know, I see somebody pouty about this, about having to walk away from their life of luxury and having to sort of tighten things up a bit, but they're going to have to suck it up. <laughs> with the three of spades coming up in life, if they hope to keep this relationship together and if they hope to continue to move forward with you in this situation or vice versa, okay? It certainly could be on the other end, Doris. Uh, otherwise, this relationship will come to an end with a quickness, okay? So this is really a time to see, is, is this the real deal? Or are you just using me? And we do have Queen of Diamonds coming up in the shadow here. And Taurus, that is your energy. So there might be something you need to look at here. There might be something you need to start questioning within yourself if you do get really upset when somebody tells you, hey, you know, um, I'm suffering a real blow financially. And I'd like to be able to do these things for you, but I just can't. And we need to change some things here. Or I need you to contribute more. So if you do find yourself getting really like riled up about that, um, you might need to question what your intentions are in the situation, okay? Because I do feel like this is a bit of a challenging conversation here too. Somebody really feels entitled to a certain kind of lifestyle. And it's either you or it's somebody you're dealing with that you feel is being very controlling. Like maybe you suspect that. Maybe you're like, no, that's not true. You're just trying to control me by withholding this financial support. I could see how it could come through for you in that way, right? It's possible. But I, either way, I feel like something needs to be examined here. 
I think that you face challenges in this connection before. I feel like you've already been through a lot in this connection. It's been rough. I see that you could still move forward, but something's got to give here, right? It does. Something's got to give because somebody just doesn't have it to give anymore. I see that. And they're officially cutting off the supply. <laughs> That's what I see here with the Jack of Spades, and it's happening fast. And we got Queen of Hearts here, okay? So I think, though, there may be a little initial upset here, right? Because I do see a temper tantrum. I do. I feel like, you know, after kind of blowing off that steam, you know, you'll get down to what's really important in this situation. There's more to life than just having fancy things or having status or, you know, eating at the hippest restaurants, you know? There's more to life than that. There's also the richness of of having somebody really by your side who's in it with you, whether times are good or bad, okay? So try to gain some perspective here, whatever side of that you're on, and be patient with somebody. If you're the one who's been kind of footing the bill there, be patient as they come to their senses and realize that this change is upon them because I do feel like a lot of resistance around it. All right. Gemini coming in at 154 here. What surprises are up ahead for Gemini Spirit? What surprises are up ahead for Gemini Spirit? What surprises are up ahead for Gemini Spirit? Ooh, high honor. All right, you're getting some recognition. A little appreciation here. It's long overdue is what I just heard. Let's check it out, Gemini, and see what this is about. Okay, it's your moment. It's about time somebody gave a little respect. It's time some respect was put on your name, Gemini. Let's see what this is about. I like this, okay? You're being held in high honor here. Somebody thinks you're deserving of a little appreciation. Uh, something is coming in here for you. We got sudden wealth again as a crossing influence. Interesting. From a wealthy man. Okay, so I thought that somebody that has the resources sees something in you. They see that you have a certain potential. And they want to make a dream of yours possible. They want to invest in you. Uh, they have a lot of respect for you. They have a lot of respect for the way you move, the way you handle yourself. They find you to be a person of high integrity. And, um, yeah, they believe in what you're doing here. So whatever, whatever work you do or whatever you've been working on, um, your vision here, for some of you, it's something you've been working on creatively. Uh, somebody feels like you're on to something. They have a lot of respect for you. They also really appreciate your work. Somebody's been keeping an eye on you, and they want to invest in you. They want to make an investment here, okay? So this is some kind of opportunity to collaborate with somebody, to team up with them on a project, on um, some kind of a business opportunity here. I do feel like whatever this is, it will definitely elevate your status. It will get a lot of attention for your work. Or this project you've been working on you're not expecting this maybe you've been really struggling to uh, get this established or get recognition for what you bring to the table maybe you've been knocking on a lot of doors of opportunity you've been getting a lot of rejections you know um, you've been going on a lot of interviews or you've been trying to you know approach publishers or record labels or you know this is really just trying very hard to forge your own way. It may be a really competitive field and feeling like, you know, you've just kind of been grinding it out, not really getting quite the traction you want to see here or that you need a little bit something more to keep going in this direction. And you may have felt at one point like you were sort of spinning your wheels, but I do feel like whatever this is, you know, this is like your baby here. It's your brainchild, and it's something that 
At one point, you may have been held back by some fears or some insecurities. I could see this being a little bit as having imposter syndrome in a certain arena you want to step into. I think especially when this person approaches you and says that they want to invest in you, you might be like, whoa, that, that's a little intense, you know. This could even be something you dreamed about since you were a little kid or it's something that you really want to be successful at because you have a child and you want to be able to give them the kind of life that you never were able to have here. Uh, for some of you, it is in connection to your child. You may want to get your child in the industry. I would say with that, if that's the case for you, please be very protective of your child and be hands on, be present at all times. But I do feel like this is some kind of lucky break here. And it is in relation to your work. Okay, There's a lucky break here. It's coming in in, your, in relation to your work. Somebody really respects what you do. They want to invest in you. They've got a golden opportunity for you. And um, this is going to change a lot of things for you. It's going to move you out of lean times, man. Okay, so some of you have been really struggling. Some of you have been house hopping. You know, you've been couch surfing. Some of you have been sleeping in your cars. Uh, some of you have been really struggling just trying to figure out how am I going to pay rent? How am I going to make ends meet? Again, for some of you, this is because you have a child. It's a big concern for you. But I feel like this is going to change a lot of things for you. It will involve you signing some kind of contract here in order to get this assistance, get this level up. But it does bring a lot of gifts with it. Right. So make sure you're going over everything with a fine tooth comb before you say yes. I mean, I understand that if you've been struggling and things have been really lean, it can be tempting to just like, yeah, let's just let's just do it. Let's make that deal. Please really make sure, especially if this is in relation to a child getting into the industry, make sure that you're hands on and make sure you go over every detail with a fine tooth comb. This is super important. Cut the deck, main female, and then on the other side here, we have house, okay? So I do feel like there's something here that allows you to retain a certain sense of stability, um, maybe even allows you to continue to keep a home. Or you may be finally getting that home if you've been in a position where you've been house hopping, couch surfing, sleeping in your car. There is something that you're coming into here, this opportunity that's turning that around. I do feel like home base is being reestablished for you. And this is definitely lining up for you with courthouse here. To me, this feels like this is spiritual justice rolling out. Like there's something that should have been yours a long time ago. Uh, you've worked really hard for this and there's something here that's finally ready to come to bloom in your life. I do feel like it took some time though, right? You've had to grasp a lot of thorns in this situation, but if you've been struggling with your home life, your housing, you know, um, and you've been really worried about your stability, something's about to turn around here. And for others of you, you could be leveling up in terms of where you're living here, okay? I do feel like you may have some points of contention, though, with the contracts that you need to really hammer out here, okay? So please do pay attention to that so you can avoid legal battles down the road. That's super important, Gemini. Okay, any more details here for Gemini? Any more details here for Gemini? There is something about don't, you know, don't just be quick to jump at something without really thoroughly investigating it and hammering out agreements. But once you do, it looks good, okay? There is some kind of stability coming into the home. Uh, you could even be getting uh, papers to a home signed over to you. You could be inheriting a home. Right. There's something that's moving you out of a place of instability in regard to where you're living here. All right. And I do feel like, you know, this is something that 
you've been wanting for a long time, but you've been doing without it. This is just like basic, you know, basic personal fulfillment to have a place where you can lay your head at night and feel like you're not stressed out. Like you can finally relax. You know, you can finally just take a breath and have some space to just chill out and let everything go. All right. I think you're about to learn, you know, that this place of having to do without or being in a challenging situation that's caused a lot of stress, maybe even has caused some family drama, is being hammered out here. And I see that there's something equitable that's worked out and it's going to feel really good to you. Okay. And where there's something here in relation to your aspirations, a dream you've had since you were a child. I feel like this is the fulfillment of a childhood dream. And um, it's going to take you by surprise. For some of you, this is even getting um, your childhood home. You know, the papers are being signed over and put into your name here. Um, and this is working out for you. So, I mean, this looks really good. Let me go ahead and do a cut of the deck and see what we got here for Gemini. Right. You're not quite there yet. Right. There is a delay in this situation. So you've got to kind of like, you know, keep the faith. I know you're going through some stuff here in this situation. It's not easy. I also see that you're dealing with a situation that to you, it feels quite unfair. You feel like you've sort of been robbed of an opportunity or something has been blocked from you that you have every right to receive. OK, there's been some kind of interference here. And I think for you, it's been really frustrating either because you're dealing with family in regard to this situation or somebody who feels like family, or you have a child and you're very worried about being able to provide for your child's needs in this matter. So it feels more pressing to you. And I think there's something here that it just feels like, look, this is sneaky. This isn't right. Like, why are you trying to take this from me? Or you feel like something has just been robbed of you. Like, I don't get it. I've been doing the work. I've been knocking on every door. I've been making the sacrifices. And I'm just, I'm not getting where I need to go. But I do see that your burden is about to be alleviated for you with the Ten of Clubs and the Shadow. There's been so much that's been happening here that you do not know about and i do feel like something is going to be illuminated for you in tandem with this even as you're getting this opportunity i think this opportunity you're getting may also bring out sort of like i hate to say it but it may bring out the ugly side around some people that you consider like family it could be really close friends it could be a sibling, okay, or another family member that's like a little bit bitter about you getting this opportunity. They might be kind of like acting out like a child, all right? You may be kind of studying yourself for this too. You might be anticipating this. You've already dealt with some stress with this person around this issue. And this could be something that's like a long standing matter within the family. You may be dealing with a family member that's like always been like really combative with you or competitive with you or, or a friend who's always kind of played that role. Don't let them dim your shine here, okay? Because the security that's coming in here, like it's earmarked for you. This alignment is earmarked for you and this is your fulfillment, okay? So don't let them rob this moment from you. Just do your best to not engage in these arguments, to not get sucked into them. Because I can feel that could really spoil this, you know, spoil this moment for you. That you're getting a golden opportunity to move forward here. It's a brand new beginning for you. So don't let other people sour in, okay? Uh, whatever this is, it feels like it's justice, okay? This is rightfully yours. Uh, there's some kind of judgment here in your favor. Um, there's something here that is being preserved that's very dear to your heart. For some of you, that's being able to provide for your child so they don't have to deal with the same kind of childhood you had to deal with. And for others of you, it's a long held dream coming to fruition. And other people that should be cheering you on or feeling a little 
jealous about it. And, you know, they could spoil it for you if you let them. But I suggest you don't do that and just enjoy what's been earmarked for you, okay? All right, Cancer. I'm going to sip here. Cancer coming in at 204.24. What surprises are in store for Cancer, Spirit? What surprises are up ahead of Cancer, Spirit? What unexpected developments are coming in for Cancer, Spirit? What's up ahead for Cancer, Spirit? Bottom of the deck energy. We got the coffin. Okay, so something's coming to an end here. I heard case closed. Okay. Side note, not for everybody. I'm hearing this is not for everybody, but it's for someone. Side note, where you felt like there was something that was foul in a person's untimely ending. There's a breakthrough there that's going to close this case, right? You're going to be able to close that case and get justice in that situation. That's not for everybody, but it is coming in. In that case, it's been a long, drawn-out battle here, okay? But I do feel like there's some kind of evidence coming through that provides a break and enables you to finally close this difficult time. Okay, this landed in my lap here. What do we got? Yeah, look at this, adjudication, okay? So yes, there's some helpful evidence coming in here that's gonna be a breakthrough in that case in relation to the untimely death of somebody that you you had suspicions about, you know, I think you really pushed deeper in this situation. You may have even suspected the romantic partner of this individual, okay? This just coming in to help clue in the person that's for. I do feel like something is being um, discovered here. There's a breakthrough. And it's going to feel like divine intervention. It will allow a resolution in this case. And that case will be closed. So I feel like this is the ending of a long, drawn-out legal battle here. And you're getting some answers. There could have even been a class, a class action lawsuit in regard to this. Okay. Uh, fresh energy, please, for cancer. What unexpected developments, what surprises are coming in for cancer spirit? What unexpected developments, what surprises are coming in for cancer spirit? What unexpected developments, what surprises are coming in for cancer spirit? What unexpected developments, what surprises are coming in for cancer spirit? I love this look. The transformation, the light up ahead of a long, winding road. I think you've been waiting for this for a long time, okay? You've been getting through a super heavy passage in your life. There's been a lot that you've had to heal here. Everything in your life has been transformed. I really feel that. I feel like especially the past eight months have been quite intense in regard to this. March, March and May could have been quite significant. March and May, you could have also been dealing with a Pisces, an Aries. A Taurus or Gemini in your situation, okay? I feel like whatever this is, Nothing in your life looks like, looks the same. This is a brand new chapter that's opening up for you. And it's a chapter where you've gone through such a transformation that you really are stepping into a whole new potential. It's like a brand new life. It's sort of like, it feels like another chance at life. Okay. Another chance at life. I think you felt like whatever you've been moving through here. It's stolen a lot of time from you, and you're ready to get that time back, you know, uh, by living your life in such a way that you have no regrets, okay? So there's something opening up for you here. 
you're getting to the other side of a really heavy time in your life. And those months could have been significant for you. Whatever came up in March and May for you around this, it's going to come to a place of resolution very soon. There's help coming in in this situation. And I think you'll like what's up ahead for you, okay? Yeah, this is in relation to some false person that you were dealing with, okay? This person was wearing a mask. The number eight could be significant. We have a couple eights coming up here. We have two eights, and then we have three coming up here as well. So this could be somebody that was born in August, okay? You could be dealing with a Leo. Uh, you could be dealing with... A Virgo, you could be dealing with somebody who was born on the 8th. I feel like whatever this situation is dealt with, there's been something that really made you feel disempowered. You were dealing with a liar. They led you down a garden path, and I think you feel like you lost yourself for a while there. Yeah, for a lot of you, this was somebody you were romantically involved with. This could have been somebody you were married to. Uh, this could have been somebody you lived with. This could have been somebody that you saw as sort of like, you know, this is the person I'm going to grow old with, or you just felt like a deep love for this individual. But I feel like whatever, you know, happened in this connection, it does have the vibes of a relationship that's gone south because there was a lot of deception. It's almost got like the vibes of somebody was living a double life here. And you sort of feel like if you would have just let me know what you were about up front, like I never would have wasted my time. So I feel like you almost feel like this person stole time from you. Like they, they robbed you of life that you could have been living that was more fulfilling instead of like wasting so much time hoping that somebody was really going to show up as they promised. But, you know, you also, you know, we see both characters here. We got the masculine wearing a mask and we got the feminine here, you know, sort of holding up this fan. So, you know, there's, there's concealment here. It's sort of like, did you ever really express this though? Did you ever really express your doubts? Did you try to just sort of like play the role and, and accept the, the circumstances because you wanted to believe the fantasy? And sometimes we have to go through these experiences before we really can discover our power. It's like you never really learn how to rise up out of disempowerment until first you've sort of been brought down to your knees. So I feel like something has been a bit of a humbling experience here. This to me has strong indications of like getting out of a really heavy relationship. You may have even felt that this relationship was abusive on some level. You may have felt like you weren't even able to be yourself in this connection. I feel like you both played a role, you know? I think there were sort of like cracks in the facade a while ago, but you kind of just kept sort of like playing the roles that you had adopted in the situation. Ted says yes to that. It has kind of the vibes of like a codependent relationship here. But I do feel like you've gone through a healing process. There's been a transformation here. You've done a lot of work. And... It may surprise you that where you have held in something for a long time, you may actually be about to confront this individual. And there's something about actually confronting it and facing it head on that's extremely empowering for you. I do feel like you're moving away from this, though. This change is coming in. This transformation is coming in. I think that you spent enough time integrating this painful relationship and now you're ready to have your freedom from it. And as you do, you're stepping forward. And even though you're not quite sure what it looks like moving ahead, you just feel like 
every step you're taking forward, you're starting to feel lighter and less burdened. And there's so much, you know, positivity that's starting to come into your life as a result. And this also feels like a lot of deep emotional growth, spiritual growth coming in here for you as well. Okay. Maybe you thought that you would never be able to sort of like break the spell of this person. Maybe you felt like, you would never be able to have the courage to finally walk away or that there never would be an out presented to you. I feel like you're finding the way through here. You may have some help from your ancestors here to strengthening you as you step forward. Okay. Any further details here? Let me do a cut of the deck and see what we got. You know, I think you always saw through the deception in this situation. It's just, it was hard for you to sort of admit it to yourself. I think more hard for you to admit the ways that you created space for that and held space for it for too long. But there's something here about not wanting to deceive yourself any longer and taking a stand for yourself. Okay, we've got expectation on this side. And on the other side, we have distant horizons. So, yes. I do feel like there's a meeting coming with this person, an opportunity to sort of like have that last closure conversation with this individual. And I think once you release this, it's like all the heaviness is released and you find yourself moving ahead far away from this time in your life. You're heading into a new chapter. Some of you may be making a major move or you might even go on some kind of trip just to like, Gain some space, gain some distance from your troubles and just give yourself a little time to get lost in the world, to really find who you are now. It's got kind of like eat, pray, love vibes, I have to say. Okay, let me go ahead and get some clarity here. Just any further details that want to come in in regard to this. I do have to say in some cases where this is a relationship, it may have been revealed to you that somebody had a whole other like life on the side. They may have had a relationship. They had a child with another person. This might be revealed. There might be something that needs to be like the breaking point that's presented to you that makes you feel like that's it. That's the last straw. And then you finally have the courage to face your fear, say what you need to say walk away it gives you closure and i do see that from here as you move away from this person as you move away from this connection everything in your life just starts to go to a higher octave you know it's like you've been dealing with less than for way too long you've been settling for too long and you've been settling because it was your safety zone even though it wasn't a happy place to be at least you knew what was expected of you. At least there was familiarity in it. And then you've gone through a lot of upheaval in your life. You've dealt with a lot of changes in your life. You're like, I, just, I can't handle any more change. Well, whatever this is, I feel like there's something coming through here. It's seeing the truth in a situation, the truth about another. And again, it's got kind of like double life vibes here where you're like, that's it, you know. I'm done. I'm not going to play this role anymore. I'm, I'm not going to be this this person uh, holding space for these games in my life. I've wasted enough time. And I don't think you're going to mince your words. I think you're going to be very upfront about what you feel here. Yeah, you've been dealing with so much, like, just complete lack of clarity in this situation. And I do feel like it, it's got the vibe of a little bit of like mental manipulation here. So I don't know if you had somebody sort of like really work you on that level to the point where you, you didn't know what was going on anymore. But I do feel like you've been very burdened, just not having the answers that you've needed. Uh, there may have even been periods of time where this person just like disappears on you or you don't hear from them. They ghost you, and, and you're just like, what's going on? And, and the stories that you've invented in your head have, have burdened you so much around this situation. So whatever is being revealed here to you, I do feel it won't necessarily be the easiest thing to hear. But if you're honest with yourself, it will confirm what you already knew about this person. 
And in having that confirmation, it sort of like emboldens you. It's like it gives you a little bit more faith in trusting yourself. And I think that's what gives you the courage to finally like speak your truth, stand up for yourself, give yourself the closure you need. I see you walking away. You're ready to open up a new chapter in your life and it will be best for you to bring this to a close. So that's what you may not see right now that you're about to bring an ending to a close, uh, an ending in a relationship to a close. Uh, maybe it's been in the in-between place. That's interesting the way it came in. Maybe this relationship has been like, it, it's not quite ended, but we're not quite on either. It's been sort of in this bardo space. There's something here that you're seeing that you couldn't see before. It's an undeniable truth. And it's that truth that's like, stick a fork in it. It's done. Once you've seen this truth, there's no way to unsee it. And I do see that you're going to bring it to a close. And it's absolutely in your best interest here. Okay, any other details here for cancer? I don't think you see this coming, though. You felt it coming. I think you've kind of like been in denial about it. It's like it's a surprise, but it's not really. If you're honest with yourself, you knew that this was coming. In fact, you may have even had a time when you were really upset where you even said that to yourself. You know, I know this is how it's going to go down, you know. Yeah, you knew it would end up in a loss. But I think what you're realizing here is you've abandoned yourself for too long. So you're finally like turning this joker upside down. Uh, you're not falling for the games anymore. You're not falling for these antics. You're not falling for the manipulations anymore. You're releasing this, okay? And I feel like you got spirit on your side here and you're pouring into yourself, you're investing in yourself and your heart will heal and you will find fulfillment here. So this is like Ace of Cups energy. You do have a new beginning coming your way in matters of the heart on the other side of this. It's like you gotta get this trickster out of your way, you know, or they'll just keep tripping you up and wasting your time. Let's see, cut the deck here. What do we got? Yeah, I mean, I think there's been a hard, hard time with letting this go with the four of spades in the shadow. I think there's a really deep tie with this person. I think there's history with this person. Um, and I think for a long time, you were hoping that the situation could turn around. But sometimes the best thing we can do is just recognize when it's time to stop fighting for something. Because it's it's not in the fight with us. And then we realize that we're just sort of, you know, caught up in a conflict that isn't going to take us any further. And it's ironic because in letting this go and releasing it, it's what brings something beautiful in for you on the other side. It's like everything you've been wanting to receive has been held up because you've been holding on to something, holding a place card for someone that, you know, never brought love to the table. And so when love isn't being served, you got to get up. you got to get up. And I see you doing that. There is power being put in your hands. You're going to take a strong action here. It's going to free you from this connection as soon as you do it. Okay? As soon as you take this stand and you let this go, all of the worries just fall away. It's amazing. And it all comes in on the other side of releasing this individual who played with your heart and kept you in the dark. And all those burdens that were put on you are going to be relieved. And this person's gonna have to see something about themselves that they didn't recognize before. But this is not your true alignment, okay? With the theory of 11 in reverse. And I feel like at one point you thought it was, but this is a little bit of a reroute for you so you can get in alignment with your true destiny. I do feel like there will be a new beginning in love after you have some time to really like pour into yourself, replenish yourself. You need healing. You need healing from this relationship, this connection. And I do see you getting it. Okay. I do see that it will come through, but you're going to need a little space for yourself first because it looks like you've been through a lot here, but um, you have the strength to overcome this, and it is a positive change for you. 
and you'll see them. It won't take long for the light to start to break through in your life, Cancer, okay? All right, Leo coming in at 2.24.03. What surprises are in store for Leo spirit? What unexpected developments are ahead for Leo spirit? What surprises, ooh, that wanted to pop out and got stuck there. Courthouse in reverse, okay? It really got stuck in the middle of these coming together. What do we got here? Gift and distant horizons. Maybe something's been held up in court. It's been preventing you from moving forward toward a goal. Maybe something has been held up in legalities or you thought you might have to actually take something to court to fight for it. I don't think you're going to have to worry about that. I don't think this is going to go to that level, whatever that is. Okay, that came in for somebody. I'm going to pick this back up and put it back in here, right? What is coming in as a surprise for Leo Spirit? What unexpected developments are in store for Leo Spirit? Some of you, it's something as simple as you thought that you were not going to be able to go on a trip because you got called in for jury duty and you couldn't get out of it. Okay, Maybe you'd already had an extension or something. You're finding out that you're not being called in. I think you might take that last minute trip after all. Okay, this is good. This is good. What is coming in here for Leo? Occupation in reverse. All right. So I think there's some challenges going on at the present place of employment. Things aren't feeling right at work. You're not so sure if you want to continue at this present job you're at. Okay. There's something here you're dealing with at work that feels out of balance. Let's see what this is, Leo. What is coming in for Leo here? What unexpected developments are in store for Leo? Okay, we got official person here. And crossing, we have imprisonment, all right? Whew. There could be something going on at work that maybe makes you feel like you're really like, chain to your position you know what i mean maybe you're in some kind of leadership position at work your job title it may afford you certain advantages but i also feel like you feel trapped in your present job like it's starting to really limit you in a lot of ways maybe you got some kind of promotion uh, you've found that you have a lot less freedom than you used to. You know, it used to be really easy for you to get time off. You know, you could go out and still live your life even as you were making money, right? But now it's like you feel like you're chained to your job. You're the one everybody calls. You have to come in and pick up the slack. This gives me the vibes of somebody who's like stepped up in position, but now they have so much responsibility on their plate that they feel like, they have no free time for themselves. They feel like they are living to work, not working for a living. And they're feeling really trapped in their present position. And they're thinking about leaving their job, you know? They're not even sure if they're working with the right group of people. There's something here about, like, community, okay? So there's something about the people you work with, too. Maybe feeling like, you know, there's just... A lot of conflict within your co-workers, you know, like you, you guys just, you don't, you don't work as a team. I feel like a lot falls on your lap when it should be more of a team effort. And you're the one who sort of deals with all the, the rough stuff, you know, when it should be everybody kind of like contributing here you feel like you're taking on more than your share of the responsibility and i do feel like it's sort of your place to either because you got some kind of promotion or you're like in a managerial position 
or this could even be that you are independently employed. You could be an independent contractor and you started working for a company doing freelance work. You don't like the people you're working with. You may even feel like in some way they operate in a way that's unethical. You don't want to be associated with it. Okay. Yeah, I think you've been thinking about this a lot. You may have been thinking about a particular person you work with quite a bit. It's like they paint a certain picture of themselves, but you're starting to recognize that this person has a whole different aspect to them. And you're not so sure if you want to continue partnering with this particular individual. You also may not be sure if you can trust what they say. I think you're currently in the process of exploring different options, and I feel like your work is about to transform. I think you're getting a job opportunity coming into view for you. It does open up a new road for you in terms of your road to success. Now, I do feel like with Pathway here, there may be something that you need to learn. There may be a skill you need to gain. You may need to get some further education, or you may need to really step outside the box in order to be able to set yourself free from your current situation and head in this new direction. I do see like there's some opportunity coming in and you're going to be heavily weighing it. I feel like the current position you're in, it may provide for you financially. Okay. It does offer you some measure of security. And at one point, it was an essential building block for your future. But I do feel like there's people you work with or a specific person that is really difficult for you to interact with. It's causing you a lot of stress. I also feel this person shirks a lot of the responsibility and they put it on your shoulders. And there's also something here about like you're wanting more freedom. You're, you're missing the time you used to have to go out and like socialize, have fun have a life outside of work. There's something here where you feel too chained in your position and you need to find a new way forward. And you're starting to explore this. And I do feel like there's an opportunity that's coming through here for you, for you to do just that. Let's do a cut of the deck. Okay, we got lovers here. And we have coffin here on the other side. So uh, I could see that too. In some cases, you could have even had like a little kind of like quandary presented to you on the job. Maybe you got romantically involved with somebody on the job, or it could be you work for a couple. And that also creates sort of like compromising arrangements within the workforce. You could have gotten involved with your employer. And maybe now the relationship is coming to an end. You've noticed that as the relationship has been souring, that things are changing for you at work. Almost like maybe this person was in a higher position than you. So they're starting to flex on you a bit. They're starting to put a lot of pressure on you, a lot of stress on you. You feel like this person's using their position in an unfair manner. I can even feel this coming from the angle of somebody was really attracted to you, but you didn't want to mix business with pleasure. You turned down their advances. And so it's sort of like they're punishing you for it. That's kind of how it's coming through. I feel like whatever this is, there's some kind of fallout within work. And what used to feel like it was simpatico, mm, not so much anymore. But I see you springing the lock. I do see there's an opportunity for you to get out of this present work position and go down a new route. I think if you're wondering if you should go through with that transformation, I would say yes. Okay. It'll work out in your favor is where you're at right now. There's absolutely no alignment. Okay. What you see is what you get. It's not going to get better than it is. Okay. So if you want something to, uh, sort of like take you to the next level in life. If you want to get back to being able time, have time to actually enjoy your life instead of being changed your work, you do need to look at taking this pathway that's being opened up to you here. Uh, I do have something about, you know, it may involve you getting some kind of like special training. You might need to take some kind of um, 
work-related training or take some kind of test or get some schooling, some kind of certification. This may be something you're just starting to explore. I feel like your cogs are turning in regards to this because you know time's just about up where you're at and you're feeling a little bit taken advantage of in your situation. And at one time, it did feel like this was like a real like group effort. You felt really connected to the people you're working with. And I feel like that's definitely been compromised here. Possibly because of romantic involvement. Okay? Could have even been because somebody you work with got involved with one of your friends. Okay. This almost gives me the vibes of like a work situation where... Work has become a little too personal, like everybody's up in everybody's business. And I don't know, there's something that's great a complication there. Yeah, I mean, I think you really want to walk away from this situation, but you feel like you're kind of like stuck there. You're stuck there because of some kind of contractual agreement, or you feel like you're stuck there because um, you don't have any other options. You know, you got to pay your bills. You have day-to-day -day matters you need to handle here. And you don't see how you can possibly move forward, how you can work this out. But you don't see that your anxieties are about to be alleviated and where you think that there is absolutely no way for you to leave this situation, you are going to leave it. You are going to find a way through. This is really good. Okay, let's check this out. Uh, tell me about this opportunity that's coming in. You may even be getting an opportunity to go back to an old position or work with somebody that you worked with before and something's changed in that old situation that makes it a more appealing option. And so you're considering revisiting it, right? Or this could be a previous idea that you had that you're reviving here that could provide you a clue as to where this alleviation of stress could come from. I mean, I feel like it's something that was presented to you before, but it didn't work out. Or maybe the opportunity passed you by or the opportunity went to somebody else. I think you were looking at heading in this direction before and then it fell through. I feel like you're getting another go at this. Give me some more details about this spirit for Leo. You're getting another shot at this. Yep. You're getting another shot at this. Go for it. Okay. It will work out for you. It'll be very fulfilling for you. You're going to be very happy when you find out that there's this opportunity to recover a lost opportunity. Uh-huh. And it gets you out of this tight spot. I think this is going to be like a breath of fresh air for you. Oh, because I see like you've been so up in your head. I feel like you got one of those positions where your work comes home with you. Like you try to go to bed at night and unwind and relax and you're just like up in your head. Some of you have to do a lot of bookkeeping with your job and you like doing the numbers in your head as you're going to sleep. There's something here that's been super stressful for you, but you're not going to have these concerns anymore with the 10 of diamonds coming in here. This is a brand new opportunity for you. I think that this is an opportunity for advancement. It does feel like it's something that passed you by before it went to somebody else and you're getting a shot at it now. And the timing couldn't be more perfect. You are not expecting this. You absolutely should take it. You will be so grateful you did and it will work out for you a lot better. And in fact, you may be working with people that you really feel like you, there, it's a group effort, okay? I feel like whatever you're dealing with right now, there's too much pressure that's being put on you and you're not getting the cooperation of the people you work with. Something is unfair and that's about to turn around for you. Okay. And last up at 2, 38, 12, we got Virgo. Virgo, what unexpected developments are coming in for Virgo. What surprises are up ahead for Virgo spirit? What surprises are in store for Virgo spirit? What is up ahead for Virgo spirit that they do not anticipate at this time? 
what surprise developments are up ahead for Virgo spirit? Privileged lady. Okay, let's see what this is about. Privileged lady coming in there. I think you're getting um, access to something that you didn't have access to before. It could be a quality of life, okay? This could be getting to experience some of the finer things in life where maybe you've been having to just sort of accept less than the best, okay? There might be something coming in here that's turning things around for you. It's interesting. We have wealthy man in reverse. Maybe one's loss is another's gain. Okay, we got concern here, right? With 33, building block for the future. Interesting. Let me get some, what, give me some more details about this wealthy man in reverse. There might be a wealthy man that needs to cough up, you know? They might be concerned about this, but, you know, I feel like there's something here that is rightfully yours and it's being held on to. We got main female here, okay? So you might be the female in this situation. And there's a message coming in in regard to this. It does feel like it's a little uh, divine intervention here. Lucky number seven. So I almost feel like you're gaining an advantage here. Your win is another's loss. You know, your win is another's gain. I do feel like this is coming in from somebody who has more financial resources than you. Uh, they may have been holding on to something that should have been released to you a long time ago. And uh, you've been wondering if this was ever going to come in or if the balance was ever going to be restored in this situation. I do feel like you're receiving a message in the affirmative. I do think that this wealthy man is giving this begrudgingly, but it's, it's due you, okay? It is due you. And I feel like, you know, you, you've been dealing with this such situation for quite a while. It's been a long journey with this character, okay? You've been trying to reason with this person. You've been trying to work this out. Um, you just want to move forward. And you felt like you've been held up for a long time. But I do feel like this is coming to an end. Somebody is finally, like, relinquishing control in this situation. And I'm not saying they're doing so. Um, <laughs> They're not doing so in a way where, you know, they're happy about it, but it's sort of like their hand is being forced. That's what I got because something is supposed to go to you. And so them holding on to this and holding it back from you, that's coming to an end. I do feel like you're finally going to be able to move forward where you've been held back. It's been a long time coming. Okay. You've definitely been held back for a long time here in this situation. I think you feel like you've been going through a real run of bad luck, but it's about to turn around. You see, gift. You're about to receive this. You will receive this. This is something you should have received a long time ago. It's yours. It was marked for you. This person's held on to it. And, um, you know, it's been sort of a little bit of a power play, I have to say. But in some way, this individual's hand is being forced and they're they're going to have to give it to you because it's what's meant for you. And again, here comes your chariot. This is what's going to allow you to move forward into the next chapter of your life. Move away from this situation and have your brand new beginning here. So I do feel like something's been held up, but it's finally coming through. Any more details about this for Virgo? It's a gift. It's something that was meant for you. You didn't even know about it. I got, okay? It's something you're not aware of. It's somebody's hand is being forced here. This is a mature man. Okay, so this person may be older than you. And again, it comes out again, privileged lady. Whatever this is, it has you leveling up here. All right? And this is karmic justice, okay? This is a long, drawn-out karmic cycle. This has been dragging on for a long time here. And something is finally being set right. 
It may even be because of the intervention of a mature man. This could be your father is intervening in this situation to get it straightened out. Okay. Or there could be somebody that's a little bit older than you that has some wisdom in this situation and they know the correct recourses to take in order to get this corrected for you. But I do feel like you're getting a message that something that you should have received a long time ago is finally coming through and it was marked for you. And this person was being greedy in holding on to it here. It's kind of frustrating, I feel, because I think that you've been dealing with like one thing after another. And you felt like you were dealing with a real bad luck cycle here. And if you would have had this a long time ago, you could have spared yourself all of that mess, all of that hassle. So I, you might feel, you know, you might feel uh, quite heated when you learn what's been held up here and who's been holding it up. And Ted says yes about that. Okay. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. Yeah, this could be somebody that you were involved with romantically with the lovers here. And it could have something to do with a house. Okay. So either this was somebody you were married to, or this is somebody you lived with. This could be um this could be something that is related to family money as well. Okay. I could even see it as a couple in the family kind of like seized something that was supposed to go to you and they've been controlling it or holding it back from you. I do feel like this person's being forced to give it up. Their hand is being forced with 33. They got a lot of concern about this. Maybe even concern around how they're going to explain to you why you didn't receive this before. There could be a house connection here. It could have been in relation to the sale of a house. Okay. But it's something that should have been gifted to you. I feel like you're not aware of this. You're going to learn about it though. You're receiving some kind of news about it. Might be even some kind of like formal message. There could have even been some documents that were sent to you that were intercepted here. I think the details of this are starting to emerge. Let's let's figure out what's going on here with these shadow light playing cards here. Right? I feel like whatever this is, though, you're about to receive what's been a long time coming. And it does elevate you, okay? It makes life a lot easier for you. All right. It seems like a lot of this is coming in for the collective about finances, like lightening up, which is good. I like seeing that. I think everybody needs a little support on that level at this time, especially since 2020. So much has changed, right? So it looks like there's some unexpected stability coming in here. Uh, you may even be finding out that uh, you're getting keys to a house as well. I just heard that, okay? Very interesting. What is this? What's coming in here? What's coming in here for Virgo? What surprise is coming in here for Virgo? Perhaps assets related to the sale of a home, the sale of an estate, okay? There's something here that you should have received and you didn't. But you're going to now, okay? You're going to now. Yeah, there was a lot of illusion cast around this, okay? I think when you hear about this, you're going to be confused because you didn't even know about this. This is something that's been hidden from you. Somebody was definitely trying to work this situation to their advantage, and it very well could have something to do with a house, all right, or some kind of assets in connection with a home here, something that's been held up from you. But this person is going to have to give it up. This wealthy man is going to have to give it up. They have to relinquish control of this. It's not theirs to have. It belongs to you. All right. I see this. So where you felt like you didn't have any way to move forward and that you were really held back, you didn't have options because you were lacking certain material resources, 
this is going to change everything for you. It's interesting too, because I do feel like you've been in this position where you've been just putting out fires, man, with the nine of clubs in reverse here. I feel like you're finally going to feel like, oh, oh my gosh, it's like this huge weight gets taken off of you. You don't feel like constantly like stressed out anymore or like you don't know how you're going to get through these difficulties because something that was earmarked from you, earmarked from you, something that was earmarked for you and was held back in the past is being received by you now, okay? So I feel like this is old. It's something you're not aware of. You're not aware of it. You might even be getting some kind of wind about this. You might see something on social media somebody's status update or something that kind of like clues you in on something being up. I, I just feel like there's something that's like a little bit sus in a situation. You get alerted to it online and then a message comes through and some details start coming in here. Tell me more about this. What is this for Virgo? What is this that they're receiving? What is this that they're receiving that was held up? What is this that Virgo is receiving? Four of spades in the shadow. It's something that has been purposefully withheld from you. You don't even know about it, but you're about to. It's going to come as a surprise. I think you're really going to be shocked when you learn about this. But what was delayed is finally coming in for you here, and it's going to change everything. There's some house connection here. There's assets. There's finances. It improves your quality of life. It's a gift. It's something that was left for you. It's something you should have received a long time ago. There may have even been messages that came in in relation to this. I feel like there would be a paper trail, like maybe some documents were mailed to you or something. This mail was intercepted. You never had a chance to even learn about it. You're learning about it now, okay? Yeah, I think that when you find out about this, it is going to rile you up. Your first impulse may be to get argumentative, all right? I don't recommend that. I don't recommend that, okay? Give it a rest. <laughs> with the two of spades coming up in life, I feel like whoever you're dealing with, they're super hot-tempered here with the king of clubs coming up in the shadow. It could be a fire sign energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. If you come at this person with this combative energy, oh man, you know, you're really going to be in for it and you'll wish that you wouldn't have gone there. This is a case where just cool your jets, calm yourself down, get some space if you need to, and let divine justice handle that, okay? Because I do feel like where something was unfairly withheld for you, this will be balanced out. But I do think that learning about this isn't going to be the easiest for you. There might have even been multiple people involved in the situation. This could be a family dynamic, okay? This could be something you learned that your family kept from you or people you viewed as your family, all right? Whatever this is, though, I think that it makes your life a whole lot easier but it also pits you at odds against a certain someone. And I think that's sort of the rub of the situation. It is going to catch you by surprise when you learn that this was kept from you. But at least you get through to the other side. Just take that word of caution. Don't try to met out justice to this person. 
just be glad that what was rightfully yours is being restored and uh, let a higher hand deal out that justice if you know what I'm saying. All right. Thanks for dropping in with me. I hope you all enjoy your weekend. I'm going to get off of here and start to kick off my birthday celebrations. And uh, just wanted to say thank you to all of you for being here, showing up, chatting with me uh, in the live chat and uh, all the people who have so generously supported the channel with donations, all the members, everybody who subscribed to the channel, everybody who comments and participates here and wants to build community. I appreciate all of you so much. And thank you for spending your time with me. Most of all, really appreciate that. Time is valuable. It means a lot to me that you drop in here with me and receive the reads. And I hope you found some resonance. All right, take care.